And I think we're live. I think we're live. Hello, everybody. How are we doing? Apologies for just being a minute or so late there. Oh, it's been a hectic one. I'm still drinking my coffee, which, by the way, my coffee cup does have a picture of, of me on the side. <laughs> With a Snapchat filter on my face at Disneyland. It's my It's Disney Kevin cup. I don't think I've put any music on. Let's get some music on for you. We need music. Um, there we go. We've got the music on as well. How are we all? Are we all good? Have we all had a good... What's it been? 20 hours? <laughs> About 20 hours since we stopped building? Are we all good? I hope we're good. Excellent. Um, just wave to me on TikTok and YouTube. Let me know you're here. Right, I can see... I can see uh, I can see we're live on YouTube. Are we also live on TikTok? Someone in TikTok say hello. I think someone on, someone sent me a rose. So I think that means you can see me on TikTok as well. Hello everybody, how are we doing? We are continuing the Lego Batman Gotham City build that we started yesterday. This is how far we got on last night's stream, if you weren't here. Um, it's a 4,210 piece set. Um, there's 44 bags in this set, and this was the first 11 bags has got us to this point. Um, my headphones are far too loud. I can hear them, that music coming back through my headphones. Um, yeah, this is where we got to after 11 bags. So we're, we, we are pretty much a quarter of the way through. We've not quite finished the detail on this first third of it. When it's done, this is what it's going to look like. An enormous, like, probably best part of a metre wide thing that's going to be able to go on the wall of the new lego room and it's going to look amazing i over the last 24 hours have probably watched about eight episodes of batman the animated series doing the set has very much got me back in the mood to watch one of my favorite tv shows of all time so i'm uh, i'm having a lovely time of it i'm wondering does it, does it stand up at this point oh it actually stands up that is so cool i mean we are still working on it so we're not going to leave it there stood up in the background We've got the sticker sheets that we've been working through as well. I guess I can leave it there for a moment, kind of supporting itself under its own weight while we find bag 12, which is where we're starting. The plan, that's bag 13. The plan, we are gonna try and get this build finished. I don't know why I've got hair gel on my desk. We're gonna try and get this build finished by the end of tomorrow because I'm down in London for the weekend. I want to get this build finished and on the wall of the Lego room before then, because next week's streams, I want to be doing the new Dungeons and Dragons sex. I've got that one as well, and I'm ready to go with that. So I am so nervous this being up on its end like that. I am going to... Can I leave it up there? Am I asking for trouble if I leave it stood up like that? How likely is it that it's going to fall over? It would have been, it would have been very upsetting. If that had fallen over. Let's just see what's going on in the chat. There's a cup on the desk. It's my coffee cup. I literally just finished my dinner. Anna's been at Andy's house this afternoon. So I picked her up at half four. Um, we then went and did the big shop. So we didn't get home till like half five. And then I realised I'd set the stream for 6.30 rather than seven. Because I wanted to crack on. Good job nothing kicked off on my other channel, eh? <clears throat> <laughs> that, would, that would have been problematic if someone had. Um, right, what else has got? How's my day been? My day's been really good. I've had a lot of fun playing Football Manager. I've been playing my new Football Manager save. Um, I've recorded episode two as well. I think I actually think episode two of the new Football Manager save. That overhead light's not on. I wonder why it was so dark. Might just be the best YouTube video I've ever made. I think it's really, really good. It's one of the reasons why I'm a little frustrated at some of the reaction from the Modies on episode one. Because I know how good episode two is, and I know how good this series is going to be. Um, so I've kind of made a decision ten minutes ago. We're not going to talk about this a lot, don't worry. Made a decision ten minutes ago just to get, like, get them gone. Scare everybody off. If people don't like it, they can go and suffer through watching Zealand. And <laughs> they'll, they'll come crawling back. <laughs> Once they've had to watch a few of his, they all, they all come crawling back, boys and girls. Uh, where do we do our weekly shot? Uh, Tesco. Well, it varies, actually. We had been going to Sainsbury's for a while, um, but just recently we've started going to Tesco again. I'm not really sure why. Um, I hate it. I hate shopping. We went for a long time. I blame the HelloFresh 
promotion that we did. Love HelloFresh, by the way. Thank you for sponsoring us on Twitch for the first three months of the year. But throughout January, February and March, we were doing HelloFresh. So we weren't really doing a big shop. Um, but then the HelloFresh sponsorship has ended. And rather than getting back into what we were doing before HelloFresh, which was getting our shopping delivered, for some reason, the last couple of weeks, we've gone to get the shopping. I hate it so much. So we need to get back into not doing that because it's horrible. I hate going shopping. We're building a little a little blue thing. I don't really know why. Um, <laughs> what video is this? This this is this is a stream. This is not a video. <clears throat> this is, we're doing the uh, we're doing the Batman, the new Batman Arkham, not Arkham, the new Batman Gotham City Lego set. So, uh, yeah. Or are we talking about what video were people moaning about? Uh, just a football manager one. We don't need to worry. Oh, hold on. We've got two different colours of these little jumper plate things. We need, probably need to use the right ones. I think it's supposed to be the darker ones we use here. I, once again, this was the theme of last night when we were building. Most of the time with this set, because it's such a cool set, most of the time I don't know what I'm building until I've pretty much built it. I have no idea what this little blue thing we're building now is. Uh, but at some point, it will just become clear and we'll have that moment of revelation when we realise, oh, not only do I now know what it is, but oh my word. Oh my word, it's so clever how we got here. And uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, do we still get any food deliveries? What, HelloFresh or... We're not, getting, we're not doing food delivery stuff at the moment. Uh, basically because HelloFresh might be coming back on board. So if if we end up not having them back on as a sponsor, we'll probably pay for them. Um, but because when, when they're sponsoring you, you get it for free. Um, the sponsorship ended. So we're not currently getting it for free. We're in discussions about whether we're going to do it with them again, do another run of sponsorship. So we're not going to start paying for it for a week or two when it might be becoming free again really soon. Life as a life as an influencer, eh? The complicated influencer things. How's Topher's move going? I forgot Topher was moving house. That's why we're doing Lego this week, isn't it? I remember now. Right, so, okay. See, it wasn't until I had to place it that I figured what we were doing. There's a, there's a tower just here. And this is just the continuation of that tower. So this goes in there. If we can get it in there. And it... Oh, that's supposed to be detachable. And it's just that tower continuing upwards. That's so clever. Right, we need to move these base plates out of the way. Because what is going to become a problem with this set, I think, is how big and unwieldy it's going to get on the desk. The bigger it gets, the more difficult it's going to be for, uh, for me to keep it in frame. So we're going to reach a point, maybe during this stream... Well, you just have to trust me that there is a Lego set being built, and I'm not just, I'm not just putting together lots of little bits of Lego, because uh, yeah, it's it's a big boy. It is a big boy. Right, we're going to do two of these. Uh, most supermarkets are not neurodivergent friendly. That is true, Matt. That is very very true. Although, uh, I mean, th that's not necessarily the problem I have of it. I just find it really boring. I feel like I've got better things I could be doing with my time. So it's more, it's not a case that I'm particularly suffering by being there. More a case of just, oh, I can't be bothered to, cannot be bothered to be there. Happy, is it Autism Awareness Week? Of course it's Autism Awareness Week. Well, there we go. We should do something, uh, I should make you all aware that I'm autistic then. Is that how we do Autism Awareness Week? I'm not involved. Yeah, I think this is the first year in a long time I've not been involved in it in any way. I was even on the radio this morning talking about something other than that. Normally, this week, I'm doing the rounds with uh, with all of that kind of stuff. But because it's been so long now since we've made any kind of autism content, I guess everyone's finally got the message that we don't really do that kind of content anymore. So the irony being, of course, despite the fact that it's still only just over a year since I was diagnosed... I now, I now don't do any of the media stuff for it. How many pieces are in this set? 4,210. And about a gazillion stickers as well. At least a gazillion stickers. 
Um, so that one goes on there. And then we have another one directly below it, number 32. So this is, is it the radio station, Galaxy Broadcasting? Is that radio or is that TV or is that both? Love FM and Lego, so great to see you on this page. That is cool. There's so many people who said that as well. It is interesting. There's certain things that I think appeal to football manager players. Or I actually think there's two types of football manager players. There's the there's the football manager players, and then there's the football fans who play football manager because they're football fans and it's a football game. The ones who are, and I would consider myself first and foremost a football manager player rather than a football fan who plays because it's a football game. I think there is a subtle difference. But those who are the football manager fans, there seems to be a big crossover in that group with all of my other interests. Oh, what have I just done there? This has just completely fallen apart. Like uh, Pokemon and wrestling and Lego. I find that quite interesting. As we sit here at the start of Autism Awareness Week. <laughs> Not that I'm diagnosing an enormous group of people. But uh, well, <laughs> there's a lot of people out there who are a lot like me, it seems. Uh, Louise, thank you very much for the super chat. I'm on bag four of the sorting app. Sorting hat for Harry Potter. I am quite interested in that set. The sort, the Harry Potter sorting hat does look really cool because it's got the uh, the sound thing in it, in it, hasn't it? Which is quite clever. I've not got a Harry Potter set yet. I'm not a massive Harry Potter fan, to be honest. Um, so I'm not like desperate to get a Harry Potter set. But if I were to get one, that one would be pretty high up on the list, I think. Uh, what's my favourite Lego set? Um, probably at the moment the. The Camp Nou, the Barcelona stadium that we built on stream. Partly because it looks incredible. If you've watched my football manager video today, you would have seen the um you'd have seen it in the background and it looks so good in the background. Um but partly because I just think the experience of building it on stream, I'd never streamed a build before and really enjoyed doing it. And it was kind of like a because of that it's got extra sentimental reason as a this is where it all began kind of kind of thing. So that one, probably. Have I been converted to the Lego separator of stickers? Yeah, we had that discussion last night and I was convinced. I've tried it and it turns out, reluctantly, some of you may have been right. And I hate to admit it because I hate to admit when other people are right. I like to be the one that's right normally. But on this occasion, you lot were right. The, uh, the Lego separator for the stickers is great. Right, so at the top of this building that we're making, we've got... I think that's Scarecrow, and we're now hiding him behind the Galaxy Broadcasting sign. That bit falls off every time I push anywhere else on the, on the thing, because this bit is not properly attached. It's supposed to be a removable piece, so you can go behind it. So when it's just on the wall, it's fine. It does slot in, but if I rock it around too much, it does fall off. But that is Galaxy Broadcasting, which doesn't... Um, doesn't actually touch the wall on the back there so again so much depth to the build it's very very 3d much more 3d than i thought it was going to be which i think is quite cool i've got that the wrong way around no wonder i can't get it back on goodness me um pokemon fm football lego tick autistic tick it seems to be a thing, Matt. It seems to be a thing. Right, we're on bag 13 already. We flew through that one. That one was mega quick. I've earned a, a sip of coffee. Is this actual Lego? This is actual Lego, yes. This is one of the new sets that came out yesterday. One of the April 1st releases. There's the box behind us here. The Batman animated series official Lego set. And um, yeah, it is a very, very cool set. And as soon as it is done, it will be going on the wall in my new Lego room upstairs as the first piece of Lego art in there. I have got some of the other Lego art sets, but deliberately haven't done them yet. So I wanted this to be the first one because it's so, so cool. One of my favourite ever shows. If they did uh, an X-Men 97 um, wall art, similar deal, I would be... Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, because the old X-Men cartoons loved them as well. And I've been enjoying what I've seen so far of X-Men 97. The uh, the reboot of that, or the continuation of that, I guess it is. It kind of picks up where 
where the original one left off, which is even cooler, that it's, what, 30 years since the show finished and they've just picked it up and carried it on. The great thing about it being animation, I guess, you can leave it 30 years but have no time passing the show, which is great. Um, right, we need some of these little red fellas. So we're on a big piece of red plate again, which means we're building the next piece of background. I don't know if we're high or low yet. Um, it will start to become clear where we are at some point, I think. It usually does, but at the moment I have absolutely no idea where the bit that we're currently building is going to end up going. We need a black bit. Black bit, please. John, thank you very much for the super chat. Very kind of you. How am I? I'm good, thank you. It's been a very busy day, a very stressful day, a very busy day. I was on the radio at FS7 this morning talking about hard boiled eggs. <laughs> Which is a strange thing to say. Uh, on BBC Radio Cambridgeshire, because um, Posh are in the, uh, the biggest cup final in football this weekend. The, uh, the it's not the Johnson's paint anymore, the Bristol Street Motors, I keep calling it Bristol Street Rovers, the Bristol Street Motors trophy final at Wembley, um, so as, as now the second most famous posh fan after Adrian Durham, um, they can't get him because he works for TalkSport, so when they have posh things to talk about they get me, um, so I've been on there talking about that and ended up bringing up the fact that every time we've been to Wembley previously, I've always had a hard-boiled egg. So we ended up talking about hard-boiled eggs. Oh, is there an actual, there's an actual printed piece in amongst all these stickers. Why that piece is printed, I have no idea. But I very much appreciate it. Why couldn't it... For 270 quid or whatever this set was, why couldn't it all be printed pieces? If they can print one, they can print them all. We have a little printed Batman piece. Lovely, lovely, lovely. What did I think of the Birmingham Lego store? Um, I thought it was really good. I like the Birmingham one. Birmingham, where we live now, Birmingham and Milton Keynes are the two nearest stores to us. They're both an hour and a bit away from home, probably, depending on traffic. Um, one of them's across the M6, one of them's straight down the M1. Um, and they're, they're both good. I obviously will, will go to either, but the Birmingham one's much bigger. Much bigger than Milton Keynes. Well, like Milton Keynes is much easier to park at. So I think it depends on how how important it is that I get the launch day sets will dictate which one I go to going forward. I think for the March releases, because it's largely going to be Star Wars stuff that I'm not really interested in, that is in the wrong place. Because I haven't done the thing below it. I've just put all of them in the wrong place because I've missed a bit. Um, because it's largely going to be Star Wars in May. Did I say March? I meant May. Because it's may, may, mainly going to be Star Wars stuff that I'm not going to be interested in getting. Just to get a little bit of variety in the launch day videos, I think for for the May releases we'll probably do the Milton Keynes store because it's a little bit easier to park and I'm probably not going to care about buying anything. It's just really a case of getting there and making the video. I wish I'd have noticed this was in the wrong place before I stuck all these pieces on. Oh my word. What's my favourite sponsor of the EFL trophy? I mean, the only time Posh have won it so far, it was the Johnson's Paint trophy. So it will forever be the Johnson's Paint trophy to me because that's what's on my my scarf that I got at Wembley back in 2014 when we won it. If we win it again this weekend, then I guess Bristol Street Motors will join that illustrious list although it's a shame because the season started and it was still the pizza cup wasn't it it was still it was weird the way the the naming rights of it changed halfway through the season because the season started and it was still the papa john's but then mid after it had already started it changed from the papa john's to the bristol street motors which i've never known a, a competition change names part way through like that before it was so weird but um, I guess that means we will officially win both if we manage to win both. Is there a sound clip anywhere of me talking about eggs? I mean, I guess it's on iPlayer. It was on BBC Radio Cambridgeshire. I don't know if you can get iPlayer for other areas. 
Um, I don't know how the iPlayer works for BBC Local Radio, but it was BBC Radio Cambridgeshire at about, I don't know, about half past seven, quarter to eight this morning. I don't know the exact time. So I imagine if you were to find the show on iPlayer and skip through to that point, you'd probably find me quite easily. Yeah, and it's just me uh, just me waffling on about about hard-boiled eggs. I didn't realise when they booked me, because they booked me for it last week, and I didn't realise there was going to be someone else on immediately before me. So I had all of my my intelligent-sounding football fan things that I was ready to say that I'd kind of rehearsed in my head, and the caller they had on before me... Basically, they asked them all the questions I assumed they'd ask me. They gave pretty much all the same answers I was going to give. And then they got to me. And it was like, okay, please don't ask me the same questions because I'm going to say exactly the same things as they did. And But it turned out, because I'm the football manager guy, they actually wanted my, <laughs> my thoughts on what I'd do if I was Fergie. I had to give my, okay, you're the manager. What would you do? So... Uh, Obviously, me being me and not knowing how to talk like a football person, I ended up getting it round to hard-boiled eggs and pasties. I don't even know how. I've just got those kind of skills. If you ask me to talk about one thing, I'll get you over to my thing. It doesn't matter what the question is. We'll talk about what I've got ready. <laughs> Am I off to Wembley? Yeah, I'll be at Wembley. Um, it's all worked out quite nicely. It's one of the other things why it's so cool that I'm managing Wembley FC in the new series because I'm literally down staying in a hotel at Wembley Park this weekend so I'll be there Sunday for the final and then Monday morning I'm heading over to Wembley FC to film some stuff with them so it's worked out perfectly if I if one of the other two options had won I don't know when I'd have been able to record those first bits with them because I'd already arranged to be down in London for I'm there Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday for two different things. The Xbox project that I've been working on and now the player not the player final, the the Johnson's paint that's not Johnson's paint thing. So it would have been like two weeks before I could get to Ollerton or Shepshed. So it's all worked out for the best, which is quite good. Don't tell the moaners that though. They won't have it. It hasn't worked out for the best. It is the worst thing that could have happened to me. You've ruined my life. Oh, John, thank you very much for gifting the five channel memberships. That's very kind of you. Single-handedly uh, getting memberships off the ground. <laughs> you are a hero. Thank you very much. That is that is very much appreciated. We have got way more channel members than I ever expected we would have at this stage. And that is... Uh, it's. It's a huge vote of confidence in what we're doing because obviously this is completely different content to anything else that I've done before. And obviously that comes with its worries. You're gonna, you feel a bit nervy coming out of your comfort zone, doing something completely new. But the response we've had to this channel has been amazing. And actually, I think I tweeted about it this morning. Over the course of March, bearing in mind the first video on this channel wasn't uploaded until I think the 14th of March, so halfway through the month. This was my second most viewed channel in March. So this channel in two weeks that's brand new and on a topic I've never made content about before got more views than the old vlog archive with over 100,000 subscribers, which to be fair doesn't ever have new content coming out, but does still get views. People still go back and watch the back catalogue. It also got more views than... The, the replacement for that, the new vlog channel that's been there for nearly a year. Got more views than that. Got more views than Lelujo 2. Which, I mean, that was mad that it got more views than Lelujo 2. So, yeah, it's... Uh, the response has been incredible. People, people like Lego, it seems. So, glad you're enjoying it. And, uh, yeah, hope that continues. Oh, this is the A. We're making the A. I've just realised what we're doing. This is the A for Batman. How did that take me so long to realise what was happening? <laughs> um, right, so where does this go? 
like this. Yeah, like this. So this sticks out the top here. So yeah, that's going to go there and be the A. Oh, we're getting somewhere. So we're going to have to have another... I guess we're going to have to have the M on this plate as well for it to work. But yeah, that's going to go there like that. That's clever. <laughs> Do I prefer YouTube or TikTok? I don't really have a preference. Um, I think someone asked me that last night. Was it you who asked me that last night? Um, I, I mean, as a... Obviously, YouTube has paid my bills for many years. So YouTube is always going to have a very special place in my heart. But as a viewer, I probably watch more TikTok than YouTube these days. So I really like both platforms. I certainly get on better with both of those than I do with um, Instagram, for example, which despite being on Instagram forever, I've still never really been able to figure out Instagram. I just, ca I can't Instagram, I've learned. I, I keep trying and I will keep trying because I don't like to quit. But <laughs> the both of the with the three block party channels, we've got the YouTube that's about to hit five thousand subscribers, the um, the TikTok's about to hit five thousand uh, followers, and I think the Instagram is not even on three hundred yet. And the Instagram has had exactly the same content put on it as the uh, as the TikTok. Literally, when I put a TikTok out, I then put the same thing straight onto Instagram, which has had hundreds of thousands of views on TikTok and not even been noticed on Instagram. So there's something I don't get about Instagram. Something isn't working for me over there. When is Anna going to do a live stream? Soon. Um, we're, there's a couple of things we're waiting for on that. Thing one is we need to get the internet sorted in her room which is still on my to-do list and as she has said herself can you move it up your to-do list a little bit and I mean I'm trying but I did start a new football manager series today and I'm now trying to record enough episodes so I can go away for four days and still have episodes come out and we've just had all the new release lego as well which I'm trying to strike while the iron's hot content wise for this as well and like I think it's more... She has no interest in this set that I'm building now. And I think from a content perspective, it makes more sense for me to be sat here streaming the new set that came out yesterday than Anna streaming building the Disney castle that came out six months ago. So we're just having to prioritise the stuff that makes the most sense for... We're trying to make a success of the channel. We're trying to make a go of it. You know, we, we couldn't have spent the amount of money that we've spent just on a whim or on a hobby. We, this is very much a business. This is a, a part of the business that we're trying to grow. So we have to be, make business decisions sometimes. But yeah, soon is the answer to that. Very soon, Anna will be streaming. I don't know what... Is this... Yeah, okay, so this... This goes here. So that's the start of the M. Oh, this is very confusing. Ben, thank you very much for becoming a channel member. Evening all currently building Snape Brickheads. Nice. Anna's really into the Brickheads. I've not really got... Not, not really properly got into Brickheads yet. They seem very much like Lego pop vinyls. And I have to be very careful because I spent so much money on pop vinyls over the years. If I'm not careful with Brickheads, I'll end up getting too many of them. So at the moment, it's safer for me to steer clear. And we'll let Brickheads be Anna's thing at the moment. But that's only until they release one that I'm really interested in. Like if there's a new Batman one coming out with the with the because they're bringing quite a few Batman animated series sets out over the course of the year. I think this is just the first one in what is going to be a wave of Batman animated series stuff. So if we get a set of Batman animated series brickheads, forget about it. I'm getting those. I'll be all over them. And then that'll be me in on Brickheads, I guess. Um, is this right? Yeah. So, our Lego sets expenses. What would Ten Year Old have said if he found out? Yeah, the Lego set, all the Lego sets we've bought, um, 
in the last month, they're all business expenses, yes, because it's all for the business. None of them are owned by us. They're all owned by the company. So if the channel doesn't work out, then we'll have to sell a lot of it to, uh, I mean, I think it's complicated tax-wise. I think we could probably, there's probably ways for us to sell it to ourselves. Um, I think I'd have to speak to my accountant, but I'm not planning on the channel not working out. So hopefully it won't be an issue. But yeah, uh, all the Lego we've got is owned by our company, not by us. I wish Lego got the Pokemon license, that would be cool. Uh, but at the same time, I'd never financially recover from it. So it's probably for the best that they don't at the moment. I mean, there is some good Pokemon stuff. The, it's Mega Constructs who've got that license, isn't it? I have ordered the Mega Constructs uh, Pokemon Center that they've got. So although it's not Lego, I think it will go into the city because God, I have a Pokemon Center in my city. And like I said on stream last night, which will probably upset the purists, bricks is bricks. It's fine. I don't mind. Get them in. Get them in. Do I have a new YouTube channel? Yep, there's a YouTube channel with the same name as this TikTok. Block Party or Block Party UK if you want to search it. Stop throwing things around, you moron. Oh, that's shattered into a million pieces. I think there was at least one more piece of that. Oh, where's that gone? That bit needs to stop falling off the way that it is. It's so annoying. Where's it even gone? We're going down to look for it, boys and girls. There is, there is a big chunk of Lego missing, and I don't know where. Um, where on earth is that gone? There's too much junk down here. I don't understand. How could it have fallen, broken into three pieces, two of them be right there, and one of them just be gone? It makes absolutely no sense. Ah! Uh. Hold on. What's that gone or is this all it ever was? Is that all it ever was? Was that all it ever was? Oh, that was all it ever was. <laughs> there wasn't a piece missing. That's all it ever was. Um, I think I've got that the wrong way around maybe. Um, which way around was this? I will get back in my chair in a minute. So, I think it's like, no. Oh, it is literally crumbling in my hands now. It is all falling apart. It's all going wrong here. So is that how it was? That does not look right at all. But there's no Lego on the floor. So that must be how it was. It just wobbles so much. Are these supposed to be higher somehow? I feel like that bit is forever. When, once it's on the wall, I feel like this bit is gonna be forever falling off. Uh, not sure I trust it. <laughs> um, right, where did we get to in the chat? Um, have I watched much WWE recently? I have not, no. Um, was great seeing you on TikTok. I've watched your YouTube channel for five years. Nice. Right, let's try not to throw that piece on the floor. So we're trying to attach this together. The set continues to grow. It is becoming unwieldy. So that clips in there. Okay, it's getting big, boys and girls. It is getting really big. 
I was so jealous your job's playing football manager and building Lego. Kev's living the dream. Absolutely, Kev's living the dream. Life is good. Um, right, so we're now attaching this together so it doesn't just fall apart on us again, which is probably for the best. So, well, that bit goes there, so that's another bit of cloud. And then somewhere, oh, down here, another bit of cloud across here. So just a few little reinforcing bits. I realise a top-down camera would be really helpful now, but like we explained last night, this week is probably the last time I'm streaming Lego in this room and we'll be moving upstairs. So it's not really a sensible use of time to mess around making this room really, really suitable for Lego because long term, we're not going to be using this room for Lego. And by long term, I mean like in a week, these streams should be coming from the Lego room upstairs. So if anything, I've rushed to start the channel the way I do sometimes and probably should have just waited a smidgen longer and then started when everything was ready. How do I deal with so many YouTube accounts and you? YouTube channels um, I mean I just just do it's um, I mean it's not hard is probably the way to remember you've got to remember this is my full-time job so it's not like I'm performing brain surgery I just have to remember to log into a couple of different accounts I, I what confuses me more than how someone like me manages multiple accounts and multiple channels, what confuses me is how there are supposedly full-time content creators out there who do like three or four videos a week. I honestly don't know what they're doing with their time because it's making YouTube videos. It ain't that hard, kids. So I don't know how it takes so long. <laughs> but I guess some people just procrastinate and take way longer than is needed to do something that its core is pretty simple. Um, yeah, so we're just putting the white on the bit of the Batman sign that is made. So it's starting to look very cool. Very cool indeed. Um, not long subscribed to you guys, but love your stuff. Thank you very much. Do you set up cameras or do I have hired help? I do it all. I do it all. I mean, I say I do it all. Um, I do have a thumbnail guy and I have an editor. Um, but editor Chris, the editor, he only edits for the Lujo 2. So he doesn't do any of the main channel stuff. He doesn't do any of the Lego stuff or any of the vlog stuff. His job is basically taking the Twitch streams and turning them into YouTube videos. So he runs Lelujo 2 and uh, does all the editing and stuff for that. And then I've got Flute, who makes the thumbnails for the FM content. So for the main channel and for Lelujo 2. Right, this piece I don't understand because we haven't used it at all. So I feel like I've missed a step. Because that's not a spare leftover piece. That is a piece I've just not used. So I was supposed to use it way back here. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I have missed a section. So, yeah. That goes on there. Yeah, we missed a section. We missed this little... I don't know what that is. It looks like a missile. I think it's, I think it's one of these police blimps further away. Not an actual missile flying through the sky, but it looks like a missile. I don't think I've missed anything out. M missed anything else out. If I have, I'm a silly goose. Um, have I had any progress on my autism assessment? Yeah, I was diagnosed over a year ago now. Could you build the set without the Batman word if you wanted to? Yeah. I don't know how it ruins the appeal, though. I mean, it's it's literally in the right font. It's the TV show font. It looks so cool having that on top of it. But yeah, if you didn't want the Batman thing on the top, just 
don't put it on. You can just leave that bit off. But I think it looks so cool. Did I find out if the Wembley Arch was copyright free? We did a new one. If you have a look at the thumbnail today, the, it's not the Wembley Arch that I showed you before on Twitch. Um, Flute designed his own. So yeah, it is different. We didn't, we didn't know for sure, so decided to just play it safe and do our own version. It was safer than risking uh, risking getting a takedown notice from the Football Association or whoever owns Wembley these days. Regarding the Batman logo at the top, will you keep it white or swap it with pieces of different colour? Oh, it'll stay white because it's white in the original logo. Um, it's going to be on a white wall, so it might not pop. So what I might end up doing is putting like a black plate behind it to make it pop a little bit more against the white wall that it's going to be on. But yeah, it definitely has to be has to be white because it was white originally. Right, we're going with uh, bag fourteen now. Will I get a camera angle camera with a better angle of me building the Legos? The plural of Lego is Lego. Um, there you'll get a, yeah. The camera will be front on, so you'll have a much better angle. I'm still not likely to have a top down angle because similar to how I've spent. 10 years nearly preaching that my football manager content people watch it because it's me playing football manager not because it's football manager i am adamant that people watch my lego content because they want to see me make the lego not just see the lego because if they wanted to just see the lego there are people with much better editing skills who could just show the lego better so I'm not trying to compete with people who are like the people who are doing the really well edited, fancy little time lapse setup things. I'm not trying to do that kind of content. Oh, there's another bag there. No wonder I can't find a bit that I want. So I will always be in the frame. There's not going to be like a top down shot or a just close up of my hands shot. That's not the kind of content that I make in any genre. Um, but the main shot in the new room will be a better shot because it will be front on and basically the way I'm going to try and frame it is it's going to be front on with the lens almost at the edge of the table so you can see the hold of the table and then me behind the table so you'll get a better view of the Lego. George thank you very much for becoming a channel member. What's Anna currently building? She is working on the Snow White set that came out last month. She was about halfway through that last time I checked. So she's uh, while she's not creating content at the moment, she is frantically assembling sets so that by the time she is ready to start streaming out of her room, um, there's a load of built Lego behind her and not just a load of Lego boxes. We don't want it to look like she's streaming out of a Lego store. Um, we want it to look like a Lego room. So uh, we were very conscious in that first video we made in there that it was just a load of boxes of Lego and not actually showing any Lego. So we're fixing that. She's uh, She's been tasked with building loads of stuff. While I'm away this weekend, her job is build a load of stuff, which she seems quite happy with. So hopefully there'll be a load of stuff built when I get back, which will be cool. Um, we're all here for the face, exactly. <laughs> I'm a big fan. Can you say hello to me? Me and Neve. Hello to you and Neve. I can't see. Zenko, is that your name? Hello to you both anyway. Hello. Um, who's got more patience, me or Anna? Definitely me. Yeah, occasionally I'll just be sat here because Anna's room is two floors above this office, um, but directly above. So if I've got my window open, which I always do because it gets hot in here, if she's got her window open as well, <laughs> Every now and again, if she's in there making Lego, I'll just hear her hurling out swear words, spewing them out of her mouth because she can't find a piece or because she's had to disassemble something because she's done it wrong. I definitely have more patience than her. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be quite fun when we're, when we're streaming, uh, watching her try and uh, avoid being a potty mouth. I'm very much looking forward to that. It's going to be a highlight for me. Watching Anna trying to stop herself from swearing when she uh, when she feels the need to have a swear. It's going to be great. All right, let's... Yeah, pop that in there. No, that's the wrong one. 
Yeah, that's the right one. Lovely. Are you going to do a summary video on the build after building? What features, etc. It has. Maybe. Like I'm. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm thinking maybe a review kind of thing. It's one of the reasons I'm trying to get it finished this week. I think if I can get it finished tomorrow, because we, we're recording our podcast tomorrow night, but I'll probably go live after the podcast recording tomorrow night. So, because there's no way I'm going to finish it tonight. So I imagine we'll finish recording the podcast about eight, half eight-ish tomorrow. And I'll probably go live then and stream for another couple of hours then and try and get it done. If we manage to get it done this week, then I will record a review video to come out probably at the weekend. If it goes much beyond that, I don't know. I need to gauge how stuff like that works in Lego, how time sensitive are reviews. Because I come from a video gaming content background and in gaming, even the idea of me getting a review out this late, this came out yesterday. So if this was a video game, it's already too late to get a review out. But then I, I've been searching around YouTube today and most Lego creators haven't even got their like 1st of April shopping vlogs out yet. It seems like Lego might be much less time sensitive than gaming. So I don't really know it's something I'm going to have to learn about the genre. I need to study it a little bit more and work out if if it is at all time sensitive or if I can get away with making a review next week when it's been out over a week. Could we do a review of Anna's Snow White that came out a month ago? Would that still be something that would get views? And I don't mean would you lot watch because you lot probably would. You're here watching a live stream. I'm talking would it get like views views would it would it go and get 10,000 views on YouTube and I have no idea and it's the sort of thing we just have to experiment with and learn we're learning a whole new genre it's fun but I will I will study it and I will learn it and I will master it because that's what I do boys and girls I am content man come back to me when we've got 100,000 subscribers because I've already threatened Anna's terrified of this happening. If we've got 100,000 subscribers on this channel by the time we go on our cruise next year, I'm buying the Titanic set and we're building it on the cruise. And that terrifies both of us. Because <laughs> that would be horrible. We're on a two-week cruise. And we'll just spend several hours a day building a massive Lego set about a ship that sank. We're literally cruising into the Arctic Circle and we'll be making a... Uh, Making a Lego set of a ship that sank because it hit an iceberg. I'm, I'm, they probably won't even let us on with it. You want to do what on our cruise ship? Absolutely not. You're not bringing a Titanic Lego set on. What do you think this is, you maniac? But that's what I'm threatening. I don't think it's likely. I think if we manage to hit 100,000 subscribers within less than a year of starting the channel... That'd be something quite remarkable that I've never come close to doing on any of my other channels before. So I'm not banking on it happening, but I do think it'd be funny if it did. Um, yeah, so it goes there. Where's my little my little niblet? There it is. My little niblet. And then two bigger niblets there. Does that go there? Yeah there beautiful it, it is as much that it's not as saturated with people creating that content i don't know i i don't really know i mean i think there is to me again coming from a gaming background there doesn't seem to be a lot of big lego creators and i don't know yet if that's because it's a new genre or if it's because it's being dominated by the handful of them who are bigger creators. Or if it's because there's not much of a demand. I struggle to th believe it's because there's not much of a demand. Because the ones that are big are massive. So it does feel like there's an opportunity to go out and grab a big viewer base in this genre. So, fingers crossed. I mean, I'd love to. I would love nothing more. I've talked about this for years. I'm very open about this. I would love 
to not have to rely on Football Manager. I love Football Manager. I wouldn't ever stop playing Football Manager. But it is terrifying having all my eggs in one basket as a as a human. Never mind as a content creator. Knowing that I'm completely reliant on this one video game that's quite niche. That if they had a year where they put out an absolute stinker. Or didn't release a game. Or the game was late that I'd be financially ruined. So it'd be quite nice to have a proper second string to the bow that's completely unrelated. It's why I've always experimented with other channels. And we were almost at that point with the vlog channel all those years ago. But the one problem the vlog channel had, it was certainly getting the views, it was popular enough, but it was always demonetized because YouTube hated it. So we got all those views, we got like 30 or 40 million views over a few years. And made, almost made no money on it because it was always demonetized. Brilliant. Thank you, YouTube. I feel like I've done something wrong here. Oh, I haven't. I was looking at the book. The book highlights in yellow where you're supposed to put the new bricks. And I was looking at the bricks that I've just put on thinking they've all got yellow under them because there's yellow next to them as well. And it's not that they've got yellow under them. It's that that's the yellow highlighting showing me that that's where I was supposed to put them. So I have put them in the right place. I was very confused. <laughs> that would have been uh, that would have been upsetting if I'd have pulled all them off because I got myself all confused. Right. Where's that brick? There. So this goes at the bottom there. I will show you this section again when it's done. Um, I am aware the angle is not great, but. It's such a big set. I mean, even if we had the perfect angle, the set's so big, I'd be forever having to move the camera anyway. I think we're just going to have to... We're here for the chat. We're here to have a lovely chat. And if we happen to see some Lego as part of it, we all win. Half the time, I mean, I, I assure you, half the time, I don't know what I'm building either. And it is just me placing blocks where I'm supposed to place them. And then every now and again, I realise, oh, that's what I was making. And then I show you that anyway. When I realise, I always lift it up and show you what we're doing. So don't worry, you're not missing out on anything by the uh, by the set being down here. And it is getting big now as well. It is not even halfway size-wise. And it is getting bigger and harder to move it around and show you what's going on with it. So I think the further into it we get, the more it's just going to stay on the table. And you're just going to have to believe me that I'm putting Lego on it. Uh, need an overhead camera. I mean, uh, we've talked about it so much. Um, there won't be one in here because I'm not going to be in here next week. Um, there won't be one upstairs because I don't think it will be needed with the camera angle I'm going to have up there. So at the moment, not going to get an overhead camera. If I decide I need one at some point, then I'll get one. But I just think it takes away from the content. I think it would be having an overhead camera for this would be the equivalent in Football Manager of not having a face cam, I think. I don't, I don't want the focus to be the Lego. I want the focus to be me because... I want you to watch because you want to watch me make the Lego, not because you want to know about the Lego, because that is something I can control. I can always make good content around making the Lego, but I can't always guarantee there's Lego. There's like this new Lego. So it's more important that I build an audience who are watching because they want to watch me make Lego rather than I don't want to be a channel that just pulls in loads of views by showing the new sets with no face on camera. And they're literally just relying on the YouTube search algorithm every time. I want a community of people who... I, I want us to be a community who collect ourselves around our shared interest in Lego. Similar to what I've done with Football Manager. It's why you don't see me doing loads of clickbaity Football Manager videos. Because I don't really want to collect that kind of audience. I want an audience who are there because they want to hang out with me and chat about Football Manager. It's what the uh, it's what some creators it's what they don't understand. 
that not everyone is there to try and drag in as many views as possible all the time. Not that I'm referencing anybody's TikTok that they might have made recently. Niche reference to the football manager people who know what I'm talking about. Some of these creators just don't get what we're trying to do here. I think everyone's trying to do the same content they're trying to do. And that's not how it is. Some of us have our own things. Talking, taking you out of the equation would be bad. Just building Lego would be soulless. Yeah, exactly. I think if if we had to make a decision, and we're effectively having to make that decision right now, if I had to make the decision between you having a clear shot of me and a clear shot of the Lego, I think I would always choose the clear shot of me. Because that's what makes my content unique. There's probably a dozen people streaming making this set at the moment. It came out yesterday. So if you wanted a clear shot of the Lego, there's always a clearer one you could find. Whereas there'll only ever be one place where you can see me making Lego. So that's the, that's the thought process. If I turn out to be wrong, then based on my track record, I'll refuse to admit it and keep being wrong. Because that's what I do. And it'll be fine in the end. This is a cool little uh, cool little mini build bit that we're doing here. We've got a little archway with some little uh, mini mini figs on. What are they called when they're the mini mini figs? Is it literally a mini mini fig? And then that kind of plops in there. Again, lovely depth. We're getting so much depth to this build. Um, right, that's that's another bag done. We are we are storming through tonight. Um, I'm running out of space on my desk because this thing is getting so big. <laughs> oh my world. Where else would we get the boiled egg story in another video stream? Exactly. Exactly. I put my Lego base plate where the sun don't shine. Interesting. Wish I'd have read that before reading it out loud. Bag 15's a little in. Tiny little bag. There's like 10 pieces in here. Why is this... Why is this even a bag? I was quite intimidated when I saw the set had 44 bags, but when some of them had literally no pieces, it's not that intimidating, is it? Right, but they are little and fiddly, so I take it back. I'm intimidated, really. Where on earth does this go? Ah! That bounced off the backboard and then back onto the table. That was handy. So we're making a little pointy bit. I think. I'm trying to look on the box to see where we where there's a pointy bit. I think we're doing this top of the building where there's a pointy bit up there. I think that's the bit we're doing now. So I think that goes there. To be the top of that building. Uh, how's Andy? He's fine. Saw him very briefly this afternoon when I picked Anna up. He uh, he seemed fine. Many bags. We're, we're already on our fourth bag of the day. We're ploughing through. We started on bag 12. This is bag 15. We are, we are making progress. We are going to get this thing finished. Mainly because I want to get it on my wall. It's so cool. I already think it's a very, very cool, awesome looking set that I just want to get on the wall. Soon. Oh, crumbs, it's falling apart. All right, well done. It is a little bit flimsy until it gets finished, each little section. You have to, it's, it gets, some of them are so little and fiddly because it's like micro scale. because it's a whole cityscape in one piece of art. I mean, this is the top of a building we're doing here. But it's so little and fiddly while you're making it. Bits keep falling off. But once it's in, it does look awesome. I'll show you this little element when it's done in a second. Oh, it's so little and fiddly. There you go, look. Just a little, a little building topper. Which looks very cool. Just listen to the podcast. You claim the Wii U would be the biggest console of Christmas and Harry Potter Wizards Unite would outlive Pokemon Go. 
Your hot takes are certainly hot takes. I mean, the Wii U was great. Anyone who doesn't think the Wii U was great is wrong. The Wii U basically was it was ahead of its time, wasn't it? The Switch is what the Wii U should have been. So the idea was right. They just didn't quite have the technology to back it up yet. The Harry Potter thing, I'll acknowledge I was wrong about. But let's face it, at that point, none of us knew J.K. Rowling was going to turn out to be mental. So you have to cut me a little bit of slack. Harry Potter was huge back then and looked unstoppable. We didn't realise she was mental. So I, I, think, I, I think that one we can disqualify... We can disqualify that one. We don't have to judge that one. No one could no one could have predicted what would have happened there has happened. I don't think. I certainly didn't pick up on any signs. But um Yeah, the the switch is basically the Wii U, just with the tech to actually make it work. So I stand by that. Are the Lego Collector's Edition sets worth buying at full price? Depends if you want them or not. I mean, I would. I mean, as a long-time collector, not necessarily of Lego, just a collector in general, my advice as a collector is: you're not buying a, a pension or an ISA. It's a it's a collector's piece. Do you want it? Will you love it? If so, then yeah, it's worth it for you. I wouldn't buy Lego as an investment. Because there are much more tax efficient ways to invest your money than buying Lego. Even if the return is strong, it's not at all tax efficient. So base your decisions on whether or not you buy a set on how much will you love the set? Will you, it, if you buy it for that price and have it for a year, will you look at it in a year's time and think, I'm still really glad I got that? Or will you be like, oh, I wish I hadn't got that. And that's 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 what to base your decision on. Don't do it to try and make money. It's why when people ask me how much sets are, I often don't know. Because I don't put that much thought into it. If I'm shopping for Lego, then usually that means I can afford to buy any set that I might find in the Lego shop. So, I'll buy one if I think I'll love it. And won't buy the ones that I don't think I'll love. But none of them are bought with a plan for them to be worth more at a certain point in the future. That kind of stuff just tends to take care of itself, I think. That being said, if you can wait, there's always sales. So, <laughs> um, if, that, if, that, if I've answered the wrong question there... Um, then there's always a cheaper way to do it. If, you, if you've if you got patience, I don't have patience. I can't, I'm not capable of waiting. I don't do delayed gratification. So for me, I want it when it first comes out because I want it. But if you want this set, for example, now is not the time to buy it at the lowest price you could get it for. At some point in the next year, it'll be £50 less than it is now. But then in five years, it will be £200 more than it is now. So buy it when you feel like it represents good value for you. Are you going to put any of tonight's Prem games on while you build? Um, who's playing? I probably can. Bag 16, we are flying. Would you ever do a large Lego set and open all the bags at once rather than one? We talked about that as a potential... Miles, uh, like subscriber milestone thing because I think it would be a fun video to do. I wouldn't mind doing it because that's how I always built Lego as a kid. I was very much a dump it all in a drawer and fish out the pieces I want. That's what some people I've had a lot of comments on these streams of people going like, Kev, you're not sorting your Lego before you build. I can't see what piece I'm supposed to have here. And the reason I don't sort the Lego before I build is because it's like 10 pieces of Lego. You should have seen my drawer as a kid. <laughs> I am. Um, this is nothing. This is nothing. You need to sort this. You never had a massive drawer full of Lego as a kid, did you? Um, but Anna has said she would lose her mind. She wouldn't be able to cope with it. 
because she never had the big drawer of Lego as a kid, so she's always gone back to back to back. But, um, yeah. Maybe I like the idea of the building building Titanic on a cruise if we hit 100,000 subscribers by this time next year. I like the idea of that as a... I don't want to say a forfeit, because it's not really a forfeit, because... I want us to hit 100,000 subs. I imagine most of you lot do as well. So it's not really a forfeit, more of a celebration. A silly thing to do to celebrate it happening. But maybe we need a, a similar thing for... I do like the idea of just emptying all the bags, buying a massive set and just emptying out all the bags and building it for a video as a way of celebrating at some point. I'm not just going to do it to punish myself. But if there's a time when there is a, a milestone that's worth celebrating... Then, yeah, I'm up for that. For sure. And I think it would make a fun video as well. Because, obviously, even for even for me, it, there would be frustration. Definitely. Because there's going to be, isn't there? Of course there's going to be frustration. It's not often you see me frustrated. I'm a very calm man. Would take a lot of the cruiser's time though. It would, but it would be fun. <laughs> I mean, I'm thinking back to the cruise we did earlier this year. There was there is a lot of downtime. I mean, because of the nature of Anna's disability and uh, medication, when she takes her medication, it basically knocks her out for a few hours. So it's what you don't see in the travel content is all of the downtime in hotel rooms and on the cruise where Anna's just taken her medication and then has a two hour nap. So even if Anna doesn't want to be involved in it because she wants to enjoy her cruise, which is very reasonable, I have got at least two or three hours of downtime every single day when we're away somewhere. And I could sit there and build the Titanic on a cruise during that downtime and record it all for a video. I think it would be fun. Do it with the Eiffel Tower. I, I don't imagine us ever getting the Eiffel Tower. Purely because it looks so boring to make. And I have absolutely no idea where we'd put it afterwards if we did buy it. Because it's not the right scale to put in the Lego City. And it wouldn't fit in the living room. It wouldn't fit in Anna's room. I don't know where we'd put the thing. So I don't think we're going to get the Eiffel Tower. Feel free to clip that and use it to embarrass me when I'm doing the Eiffel Tower reveal at some point. Look what we bought! And giving you that we've always wanted this set speech, which I will absolutely give you. When we inevitably do it, I guarantee you will get the... It's a set we always wanted and never thought we'd be able to get. Because and it won't even be me lying. It will be I'll convince myself that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> to justify spending all the money on it. My brain will become convinced that I did always want it, even though I'm sitting here right now and I assure you at the moment, I do not want it. But I I guess it's kind of inevitable. We're going to get it. And when we do, I'm going to tell you I always wanted it. And it was always the plan. I have no idea what this is. It's another building front, I think. Um, Where does this go? Are we adding it onto the build? We are adding it onto the build. Okay, so it goes... I don't even know how that connects. Oh, yes, I do. It goes here. Does it go there? No, it goes further along there. It goes there. Oh, that's so cool. Again, it's another one of those where it's just come together. We've just built this building. Over the course of, like, two bags and three... We kind of built it from the top down, but it now looks so cool. That's awesome. I love this set so much. It is awesome. <laughs> I imagine there are a lot of sets like that that are just too big to justify building. Yeah, definitely. Because, I mean, at the moment, obviously we've got two freshly uh, freshly minted Lego rooms. So it, it, if we're not careful, it can feel like we've got unlimited space to put all the Lego we could ever want in forever. But in reality... Probably just on what we've already bought to this point. Once we've built it all, those, those rooms are going to be pretty full. 
And then it's going to be, well, then what do we do? Obviously, for me, it's easy because I was a Lego kid. So I know when you're done with a set, you break it down for parts and put it away and use it to build something else. And I'm completely comfortable with that. But I know for a fact that when Anna runs out of space in her room and I'm like, well, should we break the Disney castle down then and part it out? I know there is no, there is no way. There is no circumstance where I'm ever using Anna's Disney castle for parts. So, um, yeah, I think it's going to be, it's going to be interesting when we start to run out of space. I've been watching a lot of Brixie. I've already told to Anna. I've already said to Anna, we'll just have to get a warehouse like Brixie has. That's the that's the obvious logical next step. He's got what four hundred thousand subscribers. We can get there. And when we do, we can get a warehouse too. We're doing a, a funny shaped sticker. This is a horrible one to stick. So I have no idea how it's supposed to line up. Not like that. That's for sure. Oh, I balls this up, big style. Let's try it from the other angle. I don't mind the square stickers, but for these really awkwardly shaped ones, for goodness sake, make them printed pieces. For the price we pay for these sets, they can be printed. It is a nice little thing though we've just made. I don't know where it goes. It goes on that building. It goes on that same building. Of course it does. Is there, there's holes in there. It's all been planned for. It's like there was always a plan. That's so clever. And that's bag 17. We are racing. Could I build Dave a Lego doggy kennel? I mean, I could, but he'd knock it down because he's a maniac. We're almost at the halfway point. There's only two more bags left in this box. And then we'll have to move on to the other. There's a load more bags still in that box. But we are, we are flying through now. John, thank you very much for the super chat. Would you get the Home Alone house? We were, oh, we almost bought it yesterday. Anna was looking between that, because obviously, with it being a shared hobby, and I got two new sets yesterday, had to spend as much money on Anna as I spent on myself. Luckily, didn't have to spend like 500 quid, because this set was with our insiders points. So I only had to spend the equivalent of the uh, Dungeons and Dragons set, uh, set on her. Still a significant amount. Um, and she, there were three sets she was choosing between. So the ones she wanted was the Hocus Pocus one, which she got, the A-frame cabin, which she got, and then the third one was the Home Alone house. And in the end, she didn't go for the Home Alone house because I think I'm going to get it for the Lego City and mo make it into a make it into a modular. I've seen a rebrickable for making it into a modular. So I think we're probably going to do that with it. So she knows it's going to be in her future anyway. Plus it meets my criteria of having to buy... I have to buy things with Kevin written on them. So the fact there's a Lego set with Kevin on it means I kind of have to buy it anyway as per my own rules. Um, oh, I should have stuck that on before. There we go. So we are starting to link this up now. So we have a big piece. A couple of little pieces. And a really little piece. There he is. Right, so. These bits are quite important for getting the stability right on the set. So that goes across there. That there. And then this links us to this little archway at the bottom. And that now links us in. So we've got a new little area at the bottom there to build on. Which I guess is what we're aiming to do now. Have I watched any of the Harley Quinn animated? I haven't, but it's one of many things on my to-do list. My to-do list gets longer and longer and longer. Um, I got the Home Alone house. I put the light kit in it. Nice. Kev, do a Lego. I'm working on it. Closing in on 5K subs already. Congrats. Thank you very much. It's a bit of a race at the moment, actually. Until yesterday, YouTube was well ahead. But TikTok, we had a big TikTok day yesterday. And TikTok was closer to 5k just before the stream started there is every chance that they could both get there today both tiktok and youtube which would be awesome um i don't know how close the two of them are right now but they are pretty close so if you're watching on youtube and you're not yet following on tiktok 
go do that. If you're watching on TikTok and you're not yet subscribed on YouTube, go do that. Let's try and get them both to 5,000 because once we do, we've got some Lego to give away. There'll be a giveaway on each of the three platforms when each of them hits 5,000. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's get, let's get us there. And then we can get some giveaways going, which will be fun. How was insomnia? I didn't go in the end because of my back. I, uh, I cried it off. I wasn't booked for anything anyway, so I wasn't, I wasn't like backing out of a panel or anything like that. So uh, yeah, didn't go. With the busy week I had ahead of me, with the um, with the Lego release yesterday, and then the new series starting today, and then I'm down in London for four days. We're filming with Xbox. we we've got Wembley. We've got Wembley FC, who we're filming with as well now. There's just so much on that. I needed a couple of days to just rest my back and uh, the only way I was going to get them was by not going to insomnia and because it was the one thing that was for fun really although I was officially there as a as, as a creator as a guest I wasn't booked for anything they weren't paying me so I wasn't going to be making any content it was the one bit that was sacrificable because every other part of it was directly related to bringing in money so we had to we had to do a bit of prioritization when am i looking likely to add the lighting kit to the new camp after i've built this set and the dungeons and dragons set i have got it here it is here um i think i'll probably wait for that missing piece to arrive i've also got a display case coming for it as well so i'll probably wait for that to arrive uh, but once both of them are here i still don't think this is in right you know all right, it might be now. Um, once everything we need for it is here, then we'll do another stream of lighting that up. I have watched a video of how it works. It doesn't look that daunting. I don't think it will be in a full stream if it goes well. If it goes badly, I'll cry a lot. It, there is a lot of disassembling to do, but not a, an incredibly daunting, scary level of disassembling. And it does look awesome afterwards. I've seen a couple of videos and it does look incredible once it's lit up. So it is definitely... Again, it's, this is becoming my new trademark phrase. It's all together now on the to-do list. Which is just getting longer and longer and longer. What display case did I get? Um, it's from a company called... I think they're called Unique Displays. It's just a big like big plastic box for it to sit in. But because if you've seen today's Football Manager video, um, I don't know who this is on this sticker. If you've seen today's Football Manager video, you'll see where it now sits in my backdrop and it is definitely gonna get knocked over staying there. So does anyone have any idea what character that is? Can't even get it to focus on it. Who is that? I don't even know who that is. Um, yeah, it needs to go in a box so that I don't break it. So that is on its way. That's been dispatched, so that is on its way. But I also, there's a, there was a missing piece, so one of the one of the sections of seating isn't properly attached yet. So I'm not going to disassemble it while part of it isn't assembled correctly. So it'll be soon. I've got this set and the D&D &D set to build first. And then after that, we've got Anna's Disney Castle to do on stream. And then I imagine after we've done all of that, the next stream after all of that will be lighting up the Camp Nou. And then we'll probably be around time for the May releases and building something then. Busy, busy, busy. Love being busy. Love being busy. Love having lots of stuff planned. I love a long to-do list. A long to-do list is great because it means you don't get bored. And being bored is rubbish and I've just realised those two bits I've just clipped in should not have gone in and that is a disaster because of where they are because I don't know that I'm going to be able to get them out without destroying a whole area of the set. Oh, this is a problem. Come out. Ah, I'm squashing something over here. I can't get any purchase. Well, that moves a little bit there. Go on. Up you come. Oh, no. Um, I need... This isn't thin enough to get under it. Brick separator my eye. Got it. 
এখন This is the worry that we're going to destroy the whole area. <laughs> Come on, you little turd. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. Right. Cool, I went red in the face doing that. What was I supposed to do? Yeah, I'm supposed to attach these ones first. The depth again, got to do depth. Depth, depth is important. There you go, that better have been worth it. If I end up getting covered up, I'm going to be fuming. Whoa, what's going on with the exposure? Whoa. Will the light up be on Twitch like the build? Probably not. I think we've probably done enough Lego on Twitch now. I think anyone who was going to come over from Twitch to the Lego content. Oh, I've still got my shoes on. Anyone who's going to come over has come over now. I don't think there's any further benefit in putting lego content over there i'll probably just mention by the way folks tomorrow night over on the lego channel i'm gonna be putting the lights on the new camp that we built over here if you want to come and watch it come and watch it but yeah i think lego on twitch is done just complete the land rover today good build that awesome do i have hogwarts from harry potter i don't i don't have any harry, harry potter sets at all i'm not really a harry potter fan um, yeah, no Hogwarts here. I, I think it looks cool. But, again, it's one of those things of where would we put it. I made the decision with my Lego room to for it to basically be a Lego City room. So, for me, any sets that I buy, they need to fit into the Lego City, really. And Anna's room is more of a like collection display room. But up there, it's... A, the big castle she chose was the Disney one. She doesn't have room for multiple big castles. And also, it has to be prioritising the things she's most interested in. And she's not massively into Harry Potter either. So, I don't think we're likely to have a Hogwarts at any point. Unless it's incredibly cheap somewhere. So, yeah, probably not. Um, right, that goes there. I can't find the bit that I've... These little bits here are impossible to find. My eyes just don't pick them up. They're obviously an awkward colour for my stupid eyeballs. There you go. It was literally sat right there. And my stupid eyeballs just weren't interested. I don't know what we're doing here again. That's a theme. I never know what's going on. We're just putting various tiles collected together and in a minute it's all going to make sense but at the moment I haven't I haven't got a clue what that's supposed to be and now we're sticking it to the build so I really don't know what's going on down here I mean I could get a spoiler and look over here so what have we done we've done the Gotham City so it's this whole area here we're currently building so it's literally just back plate for the cinema no not the cinema the opera and the police station um, so it's just the base for that to go on. So we're not really building anything at the moment. How did you get the D&D &D set now when it's on coming soon? Not for sale because insiders can get it yesterday. Same way I got this one. If you're an insider, you get it on. You can get it on the first. Um, if you have an insider's account and you log into it on the web, Lego website, you'll see that you could also order it now. So, yeah. Insiders can get them early. Where does this piece go? Ah, oh, up here. Okay, we're moving back up here. We're flailing around all over the place. Right, so that goes there. And that goes there. And then we've got these. I don't even know what colour that is. No idea what colour that is. I wouldn't... Grey, maybe? I don't think it is grey, though. Oh, no, it's fallen into a little area I can't reach. Um, come on, out you come. Where are you? Oh, you little swine. I don't know how I can get you out. There we go. I need, like, tweezers or something for something. It's like doing surgery. Some of it is proper fiddly on this set. There we go. Sorted. Light grey is what this has been described as by TikTok. Thank you very much. Um, nice to catch you live. I've been following since the old Lazarus. Lazarus? Lazarus? 
can't remember. Lazaroff, was that his name? Once I was even your official interviewer during live streams. I remember your name, actually. I recognise that name. Welcome. Welcome back, I guess. Of all the things to bring you back, Lego. People like a bit of Lego, don't they? I'm learning that. People like a bit of Lego. Right, so that goes there. If my first million subscriber channel ends up being this one, I'm going to look back on the last eight years with two minds. I've had a blast. But goodness me, <laughs> if, if something I just started a whim ends up being the, the one that I end up most well known for, can you imagine? All that hard work. I'll be able to do that, all that work, and what did it get me? TikTok that's really popular at the moment. So I guess there's a silver lining there. <laughs> Needs to happen quickly so I can get still get on that TikTok trend. And I'm going to do Lego on stream, with doing the Disney cast on her own. It'll be with me. Anna's initial streams will be with me as she gets used to streaming. Obviously, I've been streaming for years. She hasn't. So I um, I won't be doing any of the building. She's made that very clear. I'm not building her set. What on earth has gone wrong here? I've put that plate on upside down is what's gone wrong here. How have I done that? So it's actually supposed to be like that. Yeah, I put that entire plate on upside down. What a silly goose I am. Yeah, um, so I'll sit with Anna and basically we've we've had a few chats about it. We're not completely sure exactly how it's going to go yet, but I'll basically be comparing her chat. So chatting to you lot. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Is that supposed to go in there? Can that go in there? Is this still wrong? It feels like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm doing, I'm an idiot. I've missed a step. I am an idiot. There you go. That's why it didn't work. If something's not working, double check the instructions, Kev. There we go. Fits perfectly now. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so I'll sit with her and chat with you lot while she builds. I might have a little mini build going on. I might get one of the little mini castles and build a mini castle next to her while she builds the big castle. <laughs> Just so that I've got something to do with my hands for three hours so I don't lose my mind. But yeah, it's uh, it's very much, that's Anna's castle. Anna will build it. She doesn't want me stealing any of her fun. But she does want to stream it. And over time, she'll get more comfortable with the streaming and we'll get to the point where she doesn't need me anymore. And that'll be super. Or if we never get to that point, then it's not the end of the world. There's other content she can do. She doesn't have to stream. Streaming is streaming is the first thing she suggested. Um, so that's where we'll start. But she's also suggested she'd quite like to do some stop motion. Not stop motion. Um, some of the time lapse stuff that I was talking about before that I would never be interested in doing. Anna is quite interested in doing that. So maybe she'll end up doing some stuff like that. So there's there's lots of lots of options to explore. Is that going there right? Uh, um, how do you go in? Is that right, Kev? I think this is right. Sometimes I get confused. I think that's on. It does not feel very connected, but maybe it's not supposed to. Let's not worry about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, she did used to stream. Um, she stopped because she didn't enjoy it. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to make her do something she doesn't enjoy. But yeah, she, uh, she found it was ruining her enjoyment of the games. Whereas for me, streaming is, it adds to my enjoyment. I like being able to chat with people while I'm doing my stuff, but then I play much less involved games than she does. 
so I think for her it was it was kind of spoiling gaming and she doesn't want to spoil Lego by feeling like she has to be performing because the she for me I feel like although I wasn't originally I feel like I've been doing content so long that I've kind of the same way football manager in football manager you can become natural in a position I think because I've been doing this so long I've become natural at it even though I wasn't but I can just sit and chat to you lot all night and it's not a problem whereas for Anna she's um she's not that she's not at that point yet so um is that right yeah that's right so yeah it was spoiling it was spoiling her fun before whereas hopefully it won't now does that go there and that goes there I don't like the fact this is different on each side of this bit that I'm doing. It's confusing me. I like symmetry and we're not getting symmetry currently and it's very upsetting. I assume it's going somewhere. But at the moment, it's driving me insane. It's kind of, it's semi-symmetrical. Is, is that a thing? Time lapse of a Q&A &Q over the footage would be good. Yeah, she, uh, she quite likes it. You know the, the video I made in Rome, the TikTok I made in Rome, where I built the the little Vespa on the rooftop in Rome and time-lapsed it. And then every now and again, we'd stop the time-lapse and I'd say a little something. She basically described that kind of content to me. And then I went and made one to see how it would work. And I came back and showed her it. And she was like, yeah, exactly like that. I want to do that kind of thing. So she might end up doing stuff like that as well. At the moment, it's just a case of her room's not ready. We haven't got the gear. We're still waiting for a delivery from uh, from Elgato. And we still need to get the internet set up up there. So at the moment, we're just, like I said earlier in the stream, it's very much a case of we started the channel a month before we probably should have done because I just wanted to get started. And I think it's fine. I've always been a, a, a done is better than perfect kind of guy but it just means that not everything is going to be ready to go straight away and not everything is going to be in its finished form straight away and I'm completely comfortable with that and that is awesome what we've just built there we've just done this building and it looks incredible very very cool Ta -da! Kev can make a Lego helicopter then people looking for helicopter by block party might accidentally find the video. I think that's a very small subcategory of people, isn't it? <laughs> block party, very close to block party. I wonder if it was an inspiration for the name. Um, I mean, I am a big block party fan. I love block party. They're the band I've seen more often than any other level with news. I've got silent alarm vinyl framed on our bedroom wall it's my favorite album however the channel name actually came from chat gpt i went on to chat gpt and asked it to brainstorm names for a lego channel described me and anna briefly and then asked for suggestions it gave us like 50 potential names and we went through them and this was the one that we liked so um this is one we picked so despite being a big block party the band fan um I didn't think of it myself. <laughs> it uh, it came all for, it came from ChatGPT, as so very much does these days. ChatGPT is very very helpful when it comes to ideas for things. But yeah, I think it's uh, I think it is a good name, and plus it lends itself nicely to the channel membership stuff because at the top level of channel membership, there is a block party that will be happening in the city, and you can have a minifig that attends the block party. I think that's cool. I think that's clever. So the channel is called Block Party. The channel has a Lego City on it. The Lego City has a Block Party going on in it. I like that. I think that's cool. So it kind of got the, the creative juices flowing as well as soon as we settled on the name. Is that the right colour? I think it is. Yeah, there we go. And then this goes down here. There we go. 
There we go. Is it a good deck or set? What, this one? Yeah, this is going to look awesome on the Lego room wall. Will I get the National History Museum? Uh, natural natural History Museum it is, isn't it? Not, not national? Natural. Yeah, natural. Um, already got it, is the answer to the question. It is already up there, ready to be assembled. We've already got all of the current modulars ready to go. Um, but similar, someone asked a similar question last night about the Avengers Tower. Um, I'm just not building any of them yet because I'm still waiting for my big plank of wood to arrive that's going to be the raised platform in the Lego City. And until that comes, I don't want there to be loads of buildings in there that I would have to move or knock over and break and ruin when I'm setting up the raised platform. So at the moment, all the modulars are still sat in their boxes. We've got all of the current ones. We've also got Assembly Square. We've got the bookshop, which was recently retired. Um, we've got the three Marvel ones, so Avengers Tower, Daily Bugle, Sanctum Sanctorum. So we've got like, what's that, six or seven modulars? I'm looking for a piece that I can't find, that's why I'm not doing anything. Um, so we've got plenty of modulars ready to go, but until the city is ready for me to place them, and there'll be more on that, we've got a Lego City update video coming out tomorrow, um, where I'll explain more about that process but yeah until this big plank of wood comes i don't really want to assemble anymore i cannot find the piece that i'm looking for right the car i'm looking for the wrong color that's why I was looking for that was the color blindness again we're blaming the color blindness there goodness me <laughs> um why has this channel been up since 2021 when i go to more about this channel what was it what were i doing before this was Originally, one of the shorts channels, I think, that I used briefly and then didn't use. Um, I've got lots of... There's been lots of channels that have started over the years and then been abandoned. So when I come up with a new idea, rather than rather than starting a new channel, I just reuse one of the abandoned ones because um, the way the YouTube algorithm works, basically, if you're a completely new channel, you're effectively invisible to the algorithm for the first three months, no matter what you do the algorithm's not going to notice you exist for three months. So I like to have, I mean, I've probably got two or three sat there at the moment. I like to have a few dormant channels lying around that I've done a little bit of content on and then not touched for a little while. So if I then have an idea for a channel, I've got an already established channel that I can put the content on and the algorithm will find it straight away. It's how when I start a channel, they start as quickly as they do. It's just, just a little YouTube hack for you, boys and girls. Um, we did the same thing with the um, with the travel channel last year, I think. And it just gets you off the floor, oh, gets you off the ground a little bit quicker when you start off. How did I manage to spend a thousand pounds? Am I broke now? I mean, I would like to think. Anyone who has ever spent a thousand pounds on Lego in one go wouldn't be broke after doing it, or else that's a really dumb thing for them to have done. So, to answer the question, um, because we had a thousand pounds to spend on Lego, we uh, we're quite good with our money in general. Um, we've had a number of successful YouTube channels for a number of years. And we don't drink, we don't smoke, we don't really go out. We don't gamble. So when there are things that we want to spend our money on, which there's not many things, but the things we do want to spend our money on, we, we have the money to spend when the time comes. So we can spend money on our interests, which tends to be at the moment travel or Lego. Is where the money goes currently. But yeah, just, I don't know, maybe you're, maybe you're quite young. I don't know how old you are asking that question, but I think most people reach a point in life. I remember um, anyone who listened to the podcast years ago might remember Angry John from the, he did, he hosted our sister podcast back when we were trying to do like a, a trying to get a podcast network up and running. So we had a sister podcast to MGP called Bits and PCs, hosted by a guy called Angry John. And we did MGPX one year, our convention. 
and John turned up in a Jaguar, a Jaguar. Um, and he was pro he's like 10 years older than us. So at the time, me and Sheepdog were 30-ish and John was 40-ish. And me and Sheepdog were completely skint. And we were like, how on earth are you driving around in a Jag? You're not that much older than us. And I remember him saying, I, I was like, I felt like that at your age. And I promise you, you reach a point in life, you just get to that, get to an age, you reach a point where all of a sudden you're not skint anymore. And you don't necessarily notice it happen as it's happening. But one day in the future, you'll just wake up one day and be like, I don't remember the last time I worried about money. And it happens. And wait for it and it'll be awesome. And bless his cotton socks, he was right. At some point over the last 10 years, I just wasn't skint anymore. And uh, that means I can now go and spend a £1,000 on Lego if I want to. I can't go and do it every day. I'm not a millionaire. But it's the only time I've ever done it. I don't expect I'm going to make a habit of it. So it was fine. Angry John sounds friendly. He's called Angry John because the first time we met him, we were at EGX, back when EGX used to be down at Earl's Court. So this was in like 2012, probably. Um, we had a podcast meetup at EGX weekend where we went to the, the arcade at the Trocadero in London, which I don't think is there anymore. And um, we were playing on like the, the racing machines. I forget what, what racing game it was. Um, but there was a bunch of teenagers who came in and we were all like in our 30s and 40s. And a bunch of teenagers came in and started just being loud airbits. And John just absolutely lost his mind at me <laughs> and launched into a really expletive laden, angry outburst and basically dispersed this group of thugs because he just seemed like a terrifying, angry, angry old man. And from that moment on, of course, he was angry John. Never saw him act like that since, but it was brilliant. Um, <laughs> that was the first time we met him. So obviously at that point, he was going to be called Angry John forever. And I just assumed he was always angry, even though we never saw him angry again. Does he still have a Jaguar? I don't know. I haven't I haven't seen him for five years, probably. Kev will be investing in more Lego. Absolutely. I blew my money on the D&D &D set, but now I can't afford rent. Guess I'll have to go. He's <laughs> in the D&D &D castle. I said fair enough. I mean, also, the um, I, I used a little bit of YouTube artistic license with the... I spent £1,000 on Lego because I didn't actually spend £1,000 of cash. Um, we were close, but um, this set, for example, was bought entirely with my Insider Points. So I didn't buy this set. This set was... I mean, it's not free, is it? It was... I was using the discount from lots of previous sets to go towards this one, but... I didn't actually stump up a thousand pounds of cash money yesterday. It was probably closer to 700 maybe. Which is still too much money to spend in one go on Lego. And I still won't make a habit of doing it. But important context. Got to use that YouTube artistic license. I got a thousand pounds of Lego. But it didn't cost me a thousand pounds to get. But that's a much less catchy title than I spent a thousand pounds on Lego which does certainly seem to have caught the imagination you've given me the Lego bug at the age of 48 just finished the Vespa group combo oh that's awesome um, how will the tax reclaim work I mean that's, that in itself is not how it works there's not a tax reclaim um, I bought uh, the, I didn't buy the Lego our company bought the Lego so it's just a business expense. It's like if if we ran a plumbing company, it's like if we bought a bag of spanners. We run a, a content company. So we bought some stuff that we're using for content. It's, it, it's like that. It's just an expense of the business. Um, so it's not that there's a... We don't get like a bag of tax back. But when we submit our accounts... You pay tax on the profit, not the income. So 
expenses come off of income before we pay tax. It's how it works. What websites do I recommend for cheaper deals on Lego sets? I mean, it varies. There's, deal, there's been a lot of deals over the last few weeks. I think because it was Easter. Um, I would recommend joining our Discord because we have a Lego deals section on the Discord and Anna is hot at finding deals. She is all over that. Um, but over the last few weeks, there's been big discounts at John Lewis, at Argos, at Very, at uh, Marks and Spencers, interestingly. I didn't even know they did Lego. Asda have had some discounts. B&M have had a sale on. Tesco have had some discounts. Um, so there's been a lot of Lego discounts over the last few weeks for Easter. I don't know if any of them are still in place now. Um, because we're not looking now. We've, we've, we've bought the Lego that we're buying for the time being. So we've stopped looking because if we, if we kept looking, we'd keep buying. So we've stopped looking for now. Um, but I'm sure there's still deals to be found. Like I got the, um, the Jazz Club and the Boutique Hotel for £160 each at John Lewis. For sets that are supposed to be 200 Can I have a bag of tax, please? You're supposed to be moving house. You're not even supposed to... How are you here, Topher? Have you moved house now? You're telling me I could have streamed? I don't know how moving house works. Aren't you supposed to be carrying boxes around? <laughs> how does moving house work? Um, oh, God, what am I doing here? Okay. Is there a command for Discord? I don't think there are commands on YouTube. But if you go to... Where where would you find it? It's on the community page. I need to add it to my link tree. Um, if you go to the YouTube community page, there is a link to it on there. I need to add it to my link tree. It's probably the easiest way to find, for you to find it, but I can't do that while I'm live. So, yeah, if you, um, if you go onto the channel community page... Am I doing this right? No. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah. Absolutely balls that up. Not using the dingle dongle. It needs 24 hours to activate. Oh, Topher, Topher, Topher. So how are you How are you watching then? Are you using some kind of magic? You've got magic internet all of a sudden. Topher with the magic internet. You tell me you're using your phone or something elaborate like that, aren't you? Very, very fancy. Mobile data, eh? I picked up some good sets from B&M today. Awesome. One thing I did do on our... Like I say, we did the big shop today. One thing I did do... <laughs> just had Anna shaking her head. I bought like three different uh, Lego comics for kids. Uh, not because I want to read the magazines. Because they don't. the stories don't seem very good. But they all have minifigs on the front. So... Um, they're like four pounds each, four or five pounds each, and they all come with like minifigs. So I got a Spider-Man minifig, a, a, a Batman minifig. I think there was a Minecraft one as well. So I might do a uh, might do a video just showing all my magazine minifigs. I haven't opened any of them yet, but they're all just kind of sat in the Lego room. If I can't buy Lego, I've at least got to be able to. I've got to be able to buy something. And they count as something. Um, it feels like we're building some kind of bookcase here. But I doubt there's going to be a bookcase. So I think it's just another building exterior. We've got so many building exteriors in this in this city. Who knew that, it would be, who knew that a cityscape would be full of building exteriors. Of all the things that there could be in a city. Um, anyway, what have I missed? I've been gone for ten minutes. Um... What have you missed? Shall we recap the entirety of the last 10 minutes, folks? I've probably told some incredible stories because I am quite the uh, I'm quite the raconteur. Right, where does this bit go? Eh, where do you where do you go? You little rascal. Do you go there? Oh ho, ho. and it just plops straight in. It's so clever. It's such a clever set. We've just done this. Just in this building here. It's amazing. I love this set. It is so clever. I cannot imagine my brain ever being able to work in a way that could design a set like this. 
the, they're geniuses. They are, they are the world's greatest artists, these Lego designers. It's incredible. I don't know how they do it. Genuinely incredible. Um, Favourite game at the moment. Um, Balatro, probably, is the one I'm playing most of at the moment. Um, I'm not, I've not really got my gaming mojo at the moment. I go in cycles on games where I play a lot and then I don't really play for months and then I come back and I play a lot again. And at the moment, I'm not really playing games because I'm spending all my time making Lego. I only have so much free time. And at the moment, I'm using it all for Lego. But we go on holiday in a month. So I'm going to need to be able to play some games when I'm on holiday. I'll have nothing to do. Because I don't think I can take a load of Lego with me to Lanzarote. So <laughs> I imagine I'll be, uh, I'll be back gaming again soon. But yeah, when I am gaming at the moment, Balatro on the Steam Deck is great. And apparently, Pab tells me via the medium of the podcast that there is a mobile version of Balatro on its way, which is going to make for some lengthy poos in my future, I imagine. Because it is a great game. And the only thing stopping me play it constantly is the fact that it's on my Steam Deck and my Steam Deck is a big cumbersome thing. That I don't carry around with me and can't sneak into the toilet because Anna will notice. And she'll be like, why are you taking that in there? How long are you planning to be in there? Why do you need that? Which would be a very reasonable thing to say in the circumstances. If I took my Steam Deck into the toilet with me. Uh, unicorn. Yeah, I've got the, uh, the, the unicorn thing, whatever it's called. That's on my Switch. It's sat there, downloaded. So I am... Uh, I can't remember the full name of the game, the Unicorn game. I will definitely be giving that a try because it's apparently described as a bit football managery, which I don't, I don't really understand how it's a bit football managery. But I'm up for trying something that's about unicorns, but is a is a bit football managery. Time to schedule a panel with some Lego designers to find out. Maybe I would love to. Oh, I've done that wrong. I'd love to hang out with some Lego designers. Oh, I've done that backwards. I've built the same bit twice. I've got to disassemble that whole thing. Ah, oh, crumbs. Right, hold on. Can I... Can I salvage this in some way? Maybe I can. I've just kind of built it backwards. Because I'm a silly, handsome hero. Is how I'm often described. There we go. We fixed it. It's another building front, I think. I can see Tofa's just written Mature Gamer Podcast, so I can only assume someone said, hey Kev, what's your podcast called? It's called the Mature Gamer Podcast. It is the most successful independent gaming podcast in UK iTunes history. Uh? Oh no, I was doing that the wrong way around. So it's worth a listen. We're good at podcasts. So the thing I've been doing longer than anything else, I've been doing that podcast like 15 years at this point. Way before YouTube, I was a podcaster. Way before podcasting was a thing that people did, we were podcasting. And uh, because we've been doing it for so long, we never really figured out how to make money at it. <laughs> Despite uh, the aforementioned being one of the most successful games podcast ever in the UK. We've uh, rarely had sponsors. It's fine. We're not bitter. Um, right, and then that goes in there. It's like, we're, I think this is the top of the, like the town hall area. Maybe? Oh no, this is the, this is the opera. We're building the opera. This is the opera house. Awesome. The opera house. Um... Right, I'm jumping forward steps now. I'm just deciding where I think we should be building, but I should probably actually follow the steps rather than just getting carried away and trying to do what I think looks right, which is what I was just doing. Just got to get the little doors on the opera house. I will be back with you in a second, chat. We're just in a really involved bit. So I will be 
there in a sec to see what you've got to say about the Opera House revelation. I'm sure it's talk of the town currently. Kev's doing the Opera House. Look at him. Do you reckon he's realised yet that this is the Opera House? <gasps> he's realised now. He's just said it. He's just said Opera House. Um, yeah, there we go. Gotham Opera coming soon is what the sign says. Feel like that's a copyright thing. They couldn't put the name of an opera on it. Was it was was it was it Zorro that they were they were seeing when the Waynes were killed? They could have put that on here as a little Easter egg. Or am I making that up? But I imagine for copyright it's just had to be coming soon. Can't be putting names of operas on here. Ta da! How much have I spent on Lego? Loads. Do you honest question? Uh, uh, honest response question is there a way I can answer that question that won't upset you because I don't think there is so I think it's best for me not to say because I've been thinking about that I don't think there's a way I could publicly say how much we've spent on Lego without it upsetting people so I think it's probably best we just keep it to ourselves Anyone who really understands Lego and once we start doing tours of the setups and stuff, people will be able to figure it out with a little bit of simple maths. But I don't think there's anything to be gained from saying we've spent X amount of money on Lego. <laughs> Am I going to finish this set today? Probably not, because we're not even halfway through. Um, we're going to try and get it finished by tomorrow, though. Because I want to get a review out on it. And then we need this last little bit to finish off our beautiful Opera House front. That goes on there. And then we have an Opera House. Look at that. That is cool. Come on, camera. Focus on the Opera House. There we go. We have a very cool Opera House which goes, where does it go? It goes at the bottom here. It goes there, I think. Does it go there? Where does it go? No, it goes... There? Yeah, it goes there. There we go. So our opera house is in, and not only that, that is the end of book one, everybody. That is the end of book one. So we are halfway through. Doesn't it look cool? So where have I put book two? Is the next question. So that box is now empty. So we need to sort through and put the other half of the bags in order. And find, our oh, book two is on top of that box. Okay. So let's put this to one side. Get this out because we'll need it and now we just need to sort these ones into order so there's still quite a lot of lego here folks <laughs> finish it by tomorrow he says now i know the biggest the highest number is bag 44 so we're looking for bag 44 i'm just going to put them back in the box in reverse order so they're easy to pull out in order there's 43 this is going to be noisy for a minute i'm afraid folks 44 has got the bat symbol on there go. so we know that's in the last one so 43 has gone in as well there's 40 41 we need to need 42 42 well there's 42 so we can pop those in. Now we need 39. 39. That's 37. And 38. Some of these are small bags. That's 35. 36 is a big bag. And then 
Where's 34? There's 34. 34. 33. 32. 31 and 30. And then 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21. And we'll leave back 20 out. There. Easy. Will we be going to Lego in Billund? I hope so. Um, I mean, not straight away, but we have looked at it. We'd like to go for sure. I'd like to think, I mean, looking ahead at the future, I'd like to think we'll qualify for the Lego Ambassador program at some point, and Lego might fly us out there as part of that at some point in the future. I have looked at that. We can't even apply to join that until we've been an active community for a year. So, you know, we've got 11 and a half more months. Oh, crumbs. We've got 11 and a half more months before we can even apply to join that. So maybe by the time we can join the Ambassador Network, we might have a gazillion subscribers and we might get flown over to there as part of that. Who knows? We're making the Joker minifig, which apparently is an exclusive minifig for this set, which is quite cool. Where's his hair? Is that his hair? Doesn't look very green. And I'm going to believe it is green. But yeah, we'd love to go to Billund. It's definitely on the to-do list. The uh, the famous to-do list that I keep referencing. It is on there. I can't get his hair on. There we go. And he also has some dynamite to hold as well. So let's get him his dynamite in his hand. When I was a kid, Lego wouldn't even make guns. Now you can get the Joker with dynamite in a mini... I mean, I guess this is an 18 plus set. But we'll pop him on our little minifig thing so just one more to go on there which i think is catwoman is the last one of the set and now we are doing another red plate um that's a long time i normally do like two bags then stop for the day yeah i'm trying to get this done so we want to get this done tomorrow at the latest so yeah we're cracking on we're getting on with it no messing around here. Right, we're back to doing more of these like red clouds. So, let's get these in. Like the smoke clouds, not cloud clouds. I don't think you get cloud clouds in Gotham. But smoggy, smoky clouds you definitely get in Gotham. And then that goes in the, the colour palette, by the way, I know I am colour blind, so take this with a pinch of salt, but the colour palette definitely feels a lot like the TV show, which I used to love so much. It definitely doesn't feel like movie Batman. This is very much my Batman, the Batman I grew up on, the animated series Batman, which is one of the reasons why I love this so much. It feels like it's been made for me. This isn't just this isn't this isn't Batman Batman. This is Kevin's Batman. <laughs> Alright. There's lots of big bits on this section. Um I will look at the chat again in a second. It's just I'm having to make sure I get all these in the right spot so I can't look up and lose. I've got kind of got my eyes locked onto the diagram in the right spot. And if I look up, I'll lose my eye lock on and it will take much longer. So just give me a second and then I'll be with you again. Um, there we go. Well, uh, but, uh, am I anticipating an FM Lego set? I am not, no. Wouldn't that be a thing? I mean, I'd like to think I've now got myself very well positioned for if such a thing became a reality. But... I don't think it's very likely, do you? What would what would an FM Lego set even look like? <laughs> a little Miles minifig. That'd be amazing. Manager Man as a minifig. Bring back Manager Man. Um, there we go. 
Oh, wow. Callum, thank you very much for the super chat. That is very kind of you. That's really generous. Thank you very much. I love your content. Been watching you for many years. And I love what you do. Thank you. Thank you. That is that is incredibly generous. Very much appreciated. Um, that's awesome. Thank you. Make sure you... Um, Topher, are you still there? Can you make a note in Slack for me to sort Callum out with a brick in the Wall of Fame? Because I think that... Uh, that more than qualifies you, a super chat of that size. Thank you very much. That's really awesome. Thank you. If not, I'll have to remember myself. I think I probably will. I'm not going to forget that that kind of donation anytime soon. Thank you very much. Um, this is taking shape. Oh, get it lined up so TikTok can see as well. Um... Oh my word. It goes on. Goes on and on. Oh. Ow. Keep almost getting my fingers trapped. Tofa's left. Don't worry, I'll remember. I don't think I'm gonna forget that. That was uh, that was very generous. Thank you very much. Uh, an act of heroism. Certainly a thing to cheer me up on a day when uh, comment section on the main channel have done their very best <laughs> to bring me down um although to be fair it is a tiny minority of them so i've got to be very careful i, I do sometimes forget to mention that when i'm going on about stuff like this i know the vast majority of people on that channel loved today's video and are really looking forward to the series so i do have to be careful but goodness me some people have been grumpy bears today haven't they my word <laughs> um, building from the left now will be joined at the end oh is that what we're doing okay well that's handy if we because I was a little bit worried that I was not going to be able to fit it all on the desk so if we're building from the left and we join it together at the end that's good so that side's completely finished I guess I hadn't even noticed that you have a good eye that's good so I guess what we can do then to create a little bit of desk real estate is stand this up at the end here. Ah! Oh! oh, that was the brick separator. Is that all that fell off? There was something there before, wasn't there? Or was there? I can't see anything on the floor. Was there something here? Hold on, what would be there? No, because that's supposed to be the police station. I've not made the police station. So I think we're good. <laughs> oh. No command to fire over here is disappointing, I know. Oh, that's given me so much space again, being able to move that out of the way. Well spotted. I need to pay more attention. That, that should have been something I could have figured out for myself. <laughs> right. Now what are we doing? Okay, we're putting loads of these on. Yeah, I think the Wembley to Wembley series is going to be incredible. I'm so excited. I said earlier, I, apologies if you don't care about Football Manager stuff. I won't talk about it for too long. I think tomorrow's episode is one of the best Football Manager videos I've ever made. I'm so proud of tomorrow's episode. And I just hope that some of the people who've immediately decided today that they don't like the series give tomorrow's episode a chance because I think with tomorrow's episode they'll be like okay fair enough let's give him the benefit of the doubt I think he actually does know what he's doing and in retrospect maybe I should have done what I do with non to legend most years and done double upload today so they didn't have 24 hours to fester on it they could have just had a couple of hours and then been like oh okay he's brought it back with this excellent episode too fair enough but it's too late now um and I'm, it's not the end of the world if we just end up with the people who are actually going to enjoy it and not moan watching it. <laughs> that's, that's not going to upset me too much, if that's how it ends up being. We managed it with home last year just fine. Um, yeah. We expect views to be lower in the summer anyway. So, yeah, like I say. Try to, try to not worry about it. The M has moved at the top. It's on a hinge, so we don't need to worry too much about that. 
have I built football stadiums? And they go, I built Camp Nou. Yeah, it's um, if you look at my football manager video that came out today on my main channel, um, you'll see Camp Nou in the background of it. We built it last week. So it's very fresh. We haven't put the light kit on it yet, but um, had so much fun doing it. I just wish they had other good football stadiums that I'd want in my office, but I don't really want... I don't really want Old Trafford because Man United and I have no I have no affiliation with Real Madrid. I've never never been to the Bernabeu, so I don't really want to make that one either. So Camp Nou, I've been there, I had a great time there. It made sense to make that one. But I think it's probably gonna be the only one that I do, because like I say, not been to the Bernabeu. And although I've been to Old Trafford. I don't want Man United merch in my office. If I put that on wrong, can I get that off or am I gonna wreck this? I've kind of put that on wrong. No, that's just gonna to have to stay on and forever be a little bit off. It's a little bit low, but there's no way of me peeling that off without it looking even worse. So it will just have to look like it's turning a little bit and it'll be fine. It's gonna drive me mad for the rest of my days, I'm sure. <laughs> Oh, uh, there is a piece miss missing on the uh, on Camp Nou. Yes, I'm waiting for it to come. Um, so I'm waiting for that to come before I put the light kit on. And then I've got a display case for it to live in as well. That should be here in a day or two. Okay. Oh, wow, that was bag 20 done. That was so quick. I feel like I've got lots of pieces left over, but... I haven't really. We're on to bag 21, we are flying. We are flying. Still not halfway through the bags. So it's 44 bags. So bag 21. So that can go to one side, so we've got another red plate incoming. Custom build my team stadium. I'm gonna have to get a lot more confident at doing my own thing before I attempt something like that. But it's definitely something that we're planning on. Oh, Charlie. Charlie, thank you very much for the super chat. You lot have gone bonkers this evening. Uh, Charlie, thank you. That is so generous. So very much appreciated. Can we all just agree? Kev's awesome. We can. Very entertaining to watch. And I really wish both him and Anna good luck with growing this channel. They both seem like thoroughly decent human beings. Charlie, that is, um, but there are very kind words. And that is an incredibly generous super chat. Thank you very much. You lot, you lot are all right, aren't you? <laughs> no, don't ever let on, but you lot are all right. Thank you. Oh, look at you cheering me up. Cheering me up when I've had a stressful day. Thank you very much. I refuse to show any more emotion than this, but that does mean a lot. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know that I've got the skills to custom build a stadium myself just yet. Um, all right, so we've got, what have we got there? I can't tell if that's supposed to be the Joker or like Nightwing or somebody. Any guesses as to what that is? If we can get the camera to focus on it. Camera, do you see me? Hide your face. There you go. What do we think that is? Is that the Joker? I'm not entirely sure. Um, but at least I have mastered putting them, putting the stickers on the right way up now. So that's that's some progress. I'm still going to be upset about that police balloon forever. Look, I've I've just kind of put it too far down. <clears throat> I bet that's going to be the one. It'll work out that that's the one that's exactly at eye level in my office. You guarantee, or the Lego room, not my office, you guarantee I am going to be ordering replacement stickers so that I can peel that off and redo it at some point. But I'd already patted it down and got it properly sealed before I realised it was wrong, so there was no recovering from it, unfortunately. I must admit, I do enjoy listening while I do some work. Awesome. That's what we're here for, boys and girls. We like to be, I like to create something for people to listen along to. I, I've always referred to myself as the king of the second screen. That is my goal. 
If I can be on your second monitor while you're doing something else, like working or playing Football Manager, then that is exactly the kind of content I'm trying to create. I'm never trying to do the um, the super high energy, exciting, viral, um, like attention grabbing editing when there's always something moving and always, I, that's not me. My personality wouldn't suit making that kind of video. That's not the kind of content I've ever st stroven, striven, strived. I've never tried to make content like that. I've always wanted to make like, chatty is the wrong word because i'm not it's not chatty but like conversational conversational background content my aspirations when i was a uh, when i was a kid is i wanted to be a radio presenter and i've always approached my content as if it was a radio show rather than a i guess i've always approached it as if it was a radio show rather than a tv show or like a, a piece of social media content it's always done as radio that then has some visual added onto it. That's uh, that's that's kind of the the feel I've always gone for in all of my content. Sometimes I hit the mark, sometimes I miss it by a mile, but that's always what I'm aiming for. <laughs> Might be my eyes, but it looks like Wimpy from Popeye. Maybe it is. Maybe we've got a little bit of uh, a little bit of cross crossover with Popeye. That would be a great set. A Popeye Lego Batman set. I would be queuing up for that outside the Lego store. That's for sure. I loved Popeye. That was another show I grew up on as a kid. Loved Popeye. You don't get a lot of Popeye. Do you think kids these days even know who Popeye is? Is Popeye culturally relevant in 2024? I don't even know. I don't, I don't know if my kids would know who Popeye is. Which does make me feel like I failed as a parent. But my eldest is 22. I don't think she would know who Popeye is if I asked her. I might need to ask her. If I thought there was any chance of her answering the phone, I'd ring her on stream. But as a as a parent of a young person, I learned long ago there in any there is no chance any of them would ever answer their phone. <laughs> so uh, yeah, there's no point doing it. Conversational background content is the right description. I work remotely and don't have water cooler chat with anyone at this point, so I start watching the streams. That's what we're here for. Have I done any WWE Lego? I don't believe such a thing exists, does it? Um, certainly not official Lego. I mean, if there was, you can be sure I would be first in the queue for that because I have even... I don't. I, this might not be true at this point. A month ago, I had way more wrestling figures than I had Lego. I think there's probably... A good chance I've got more Lego at this point because we have had a, a bananas month. But hold on, how's this supposed to go? I've got to count some bricks. Here. Oh no, I haven't. I can line it up with that. But yeah, I love my wrestling figures. So if there was WWE Lego, I would grab some of that. I'm I've been having a proper look at the Mega Construct stuff. I mentioned before they've got the Pokemon license. They also have Halo. Um, what else did I notice they had? Pokemon, Halo, Barbie, Hot Wheels. Um, they've, have you seen the Mega Constructs Xbox Xbox 360? Um, they've done an Xbox 360 out of effectively Lego block, Lego block, Lego bricks, but it's Mega Constructs, so it's not Lego, but it is officially licensed, so it's not like it's cheap knockoff Lego. It's just an alternative company, and. The Xbox 360 was a huge, pivotal moment in my life, the Xbox 360. One could argue it's the reason I got divorced and the reason my life's turned out the way that it has. I've got a lot to thank the Xbox 360 for. So uh, I kind of want to make it, so I might have to get it. Popeye isn't known by anyone younger than the, two, than the 2000s, because I was born in the 2000s and I know who it is. Okay. What's my favourite theme? Um, duh, probably Marvel, I guess. I've probably got more Marvel stuff than anything else. Although, I mean, do the modulars count as a theme? I really love the modular buildings. My favourite thing to build is buildings in general. So, um, yeah, the modulars are great. But I don't know. I don't know the official terminology. I don't know if they count as a theme. But yeah, I love the love the Marvel stuff. 
Certainly the big Marvel buildings, anyway. Have I got the Lego Builder app to track my collection? I've got an app to track the collection. It's not a Lego, it's not called that. What is it called? Um, it's called Brick Fact, which tracks the collection, tracks how much we paid for it, tracks how much its current market value is for all the sets that we've got, gives us an idea of the total value of the collection. I have a similar thing for my Pokemon cards. I think it's by the same people who make the one that I use for my Pokemon cards. So it's just quite a nice way, at a glance, to uh, to keep track of the collection. And particularly keep track of the value of the collection. Not because I particularly would be interested in selling, but more from an insurance perspective. They'll reach a point where we probably have to be declaring it on our home insurance that there's X amount of Lego in our house. I, I haven't done any research yet to work out what kind of value that point is, but I imagine having worked in insurance previously, we're probably not a million miles away from that point even now, but we should probably be declaring it for our contents insurance. Otherwise, cause I think the, the rule of thumb in general is if you have an amount that is more than a reasonable ho home would be expected to have, which is a really fluffy definition that is deliberately vague in order to catch people out. But yeah, the general idea is if you've got more of a thing than a, re than a normal person would be reasonably expected to have, then you should probably be listing that thing separately. There you go. And I suspect at this point, we probably have more Lego than a reasonable person would be expected to have. So I imagine we're just about at the point where that applies to us. If you register your sets on the Lego one, you get points. What, extra insider points for registering them? I mean, I register all my instruction manuals on their website. I mean, I'll look into it. What's it called? I'm surprised it's not something that's been pushed at me by Lego. But I'll look into it. Don't Lego themselves do a console set that you can buy. I've got the NES one. That was my first ever console. They do an Atari as well, which appeals to me less because I never had an Atari. But I, I would imagine if I had to list my most meaningful consoles to my life, then it would be the NES because it was the first one I ever had. The Xbox 360, because it's the one that brought me back to gaming and led to me joining the Mature Gamer Forum, which in turn led to the Mature Gamer Podcast, which in turn led me into content creation. So the Xbox 360 kind of started me on this path that I'm now on at this point of my life. And then probably the Dreamcast, because it was how I got on the internet for the first time, would be my third one if I had to do with three, um, because we didn't have a PC in the house growing up. Um, or not connected to the internet anyway, because we did have a PC from like the mid-90s, so I was playing Championship Manager on something, but we didn't have the internet. Um, but I got an Xbox 360, no, I got a Dreamcast, sorry, and it was an internet-enabled console, and I had just turned 18 when I got it, and I paid for us to get internet in the house. <laughs> I paid, for, we got the internet, I paid for it, and... Um, so that I could take my Dreamcast online and play Choo Choo Rocket. So those are the three that I would love to have Lego versions of. So I've got the NES, which I've not built yet. I'm almost certainly going to get the the Mega Constructs Xbox 360 because the fact that Mega Constructs have done one means it's very unlikely Lego will ever do one, and I want it. And I'm not that precious about it must be Lego or nothing else. As I've said many times, bricks is bricks. Um... But yeah, if someone could do me a Dreamcast, which seems like the least likely of all of them, but probably more likely than the 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 Xbox to be done by Lego, because obviously they've got some Sega licenses at the moment. So who knows? But I'd like all three of them in the collection. They'd be great. For the Xbox 360 set, I just recently picked one up and it, I'm excited to build it. Yeah, it does look really cool. Just finished my Disney 100 combo set whilst listening on YouTube. Awesome. Is that the... Um, is that the one with the pairs of characters that look a bit like Brickheads? Is that the one you mean? 
Anna's got that one, I think. She's got a lot of the Disney 100 stuff at the moment. Anna's favourite theme is definitely Disney. She is all over the Disney stuff. There's lots of it all over the house. I did the same for Xbox 360, trying to explain to my mum why I needed it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, us gamers, we, we drive forward progress. The whole world's got us to thank for the internet. <laughs> you're, you're welcome, world. Without us, how different would the world be? I, we're making something. Is this the Batwing? Are we making the Batwing now? Because that's cool if we are. I feel like we might be making the Batwing currently. And that excites me an enormous amount. Yeah, this is the Batwing. Oh, it's so cool. It is so cool. Right, I don't know how this bit goes in. It's now less cool. What on earth am I supposed to do it? So that goes there. Is that right? And then that bit goes... Ah, ha, 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 ha. I will show you it when it's done. I know it's it's tiny and fiddly and really hard to show you what I'm doing. Obviously, normally, I will be building much bigger sets on the streams as well, so they'll be much easier to see. Ah! This one's obviously a big set in total, but it's a big set that comprises a large amount of really tiny little builds. Um, but there we have the Batwing. It's so cool. It's so small, but it's so cool. Have I put the right thing on the back there? So it's, I think that's supposed to be... I've put a red one and it's not supposed to be a red one. I think it's supposed to be a little light up one on the back. There we go. That looks better on the back now. I just want to fly it around. Right, I've got to attach it. So where does it attach? Here. There we go, look. We have the bat wing. So actually it would be like that because it's that way around. So the bat wing's flying down there. That's so cool. Very, very, very mm. cool. Have I got the 1989 Batwing and 1989 Batmobile? I don't, I don't have either. I would love them, but I don't have them. I do have the Tumblr, but I would love the 1989 ones. Because again, that was my Batman movie. I remember one of my earliest collecting memories. If not the first thing I ever collected, it would be between the 1989 Batman cards which I recently, like within the last two or three years, bought a full set of as a nostalgia thing. So it would either be them, they were either the first thing I ever collected, or possibly WWF stickers. And I'm not sure which one was first, but certainly Batman 1989 is right up there as one of the earliest things I ever collected. Set me up as a collector for life. Imagine how much money I'd have if I didn't spend it all on bits of plastic and cardboard <laughs> oh my dad must be so proud um where's the other bit that i need there it is i think no it isn't i've lost the bit that i'm singing because i've lost a piece this is when you know things are getting desperate there it is i found it does andy still live at home with us he does not no he moved out over a year ago now um, right. Off topic, but I need a new gaming chair. Is that a Titan Evo chair? And do I recommend it? This is a Secret Labs chair. Um, is, is a Titan Evo a type of Secret Labs? I'm not really up with the names. Uh, this is the Secret Labs one for fat boys. This is the fat boy chair. And I definitely recommend it, but I couldn't tell you exactly... Um, couldn't tell you exactly what the name of it was so it's not a strong recommendation but as a chair it's it's a great chair um, if you want to know andy's living situation the best thing i can suggest is head to the old vlog channel the whole story is on there rather than uh, treading over old ground here 
Because if I answered these sort of questions every time they were asked, all I would do was talk, is talk about Andy. I don't really just want to talk about Andy all the time. It's one of the reasons I stopped vlogging. I got fed up of having to talk about Andy all the time. Um, right. I have no idea what we're building currently, by the way. Yes, it's the Titan Evo chair. There you go. Yeah, it's a great chair then. Would I get the BRXLS Arsenal Stadium? I didn't know that was a thing. I imagine that's another type of bricks. Is it? Is it officially licensed? If it, I think if stuff is officially licensed, I'm more likely to be interested. I don't want like knockoff rubbish Lego fakes. But if if companies decide to officially license alternate brands and they're things that I want and it's the only way I can get them, then I am not so precious about Lego that I would just say no. I would look at the set and decide if I like the look, at it, like the look of it. So if it's good, then yeah. I'd kind of want it to be on the same sort of scale as the Camp Nou was. Would I like to see MJF return to AEW or go to WWE? I mean, he's signed a long-term AEW contract, doesn't he? Which is for the best. It's the best place for him. He needs to stay in AEW for five more years at least. And have a proper crack at making it a proper competitor. With him as the centrepiece main guy. Which he would never be in WWE. As good as he is, he is not a WWE guy. He's not big enough. Like physically big enough. So the best thing for him is for him to be AEW's Ric Flair and just be the man in the other promotion. And then once he's done that, he can go and he can head over to WWE from time to time as an absolute superstar. But he needs to be like an absolute super mega world superstar before he goes anywhere near WWE. Or else they'll just ruin him. My thought on the Secret Labs chair is they're good, but my arm rests are starting to die after five years. I'd probably go material over the fake leather. Um, yeah. I mean, I've only had mine for three years, I think. Two years, three years. Um, it's certainly a very comfortable chair. I wouldn't be able to spend as many hours sat down as I do without a big comfortable chair like this. It was expensive though. They're not cheap. But it is... Uh, your buttocks will thank you for it. That should be their tagline. <laughs> right. Oh God, what are we doing? We're doing lots of little fiddly bits again. Always with the little fiddly bits. Um, all right. So that goes there. And then... And then... Okay. I see what we're doing, I think. Do I see what we... I don't see what we're doing. No, because I'm trying to mix two bits together that shouldn't be mixed together. I'm getting myself all, all of a pickle. All of a kerfuffle. Sounds like it's raining outside now. Sounds like it's turned really cold and it's started raining. I was wearing shorts this afternoon. But now it sounds like it's pouring down with rain. And I can feel a cold breeze coming through the window. And I've just dropped the piece that I need, I think. What did it go on my trousers? Where's the torch? Dropped piece again. There it is. I'm afraid you don't get to see my cleavage this time. It was too easy to find. Straight down for that one. Are there any other big sets I'd like, such as the Titanic? Um, not anywhere, anything close to the scale of the Titanic, no. Um... I mean, for me, the main thing that I want is um, is loads of the old modulars. So I particularly like the look of the downtown diner. I would love to find that. So once we're back buying Lego again, which will be a while, apart from picking up the new sets that we want as they release, we've got to build everything we've bought now. We've got so much bought that's going to take us months to build. But once we've built all of that and the city is... The city will never be finished. Once the city's closer to 
a level that I'm happy with. We've built everything that we've bought for it and we're ready to start buying again. It'll be a case of hunting down the older modulars. So yeah, I'm not that into... Like, I don't want stuff like the Titanic or the... Um, or the Eiffel Tower or anything like that. I just wouldn't have a place to put anything like that. Um, but we have a Lego City, so I definitely will always be looking for cool things to add to the Lego City. House. Or building looks like a house, anyway. Don't think it was a house. Have I been to the Lego shop in Meadow Hall, Sheffield? And if not, will we do it? I did a vlog on it today, and I tagged you in it. Splendid. Um, we haven't been... But yes, we will. The plan is we want to go to everyone in the UK. I think we we found out there were 19 in the UK. And we've now been to 11 of them. So there's not many more that we need to do. That's definitely one that we do need to do. Um, so yeah, we will. We want to go to them all eventually. Because it's a nice way to tie in the Lego content with a little bit of UK travel content as well. So we could go up there and spend a day or two doing something touristy something travel vloggy up in uh, that part of the world and check out a lego store well, the way we did it with um with rome and edinburgh i think that system worked quite well being able to combine the content from different channels um so there'll be more of that. oh this is arkham oh it's the arkham sign we're making Arkham Asylum. Here we go. It's the Arkham Asylum sign, everybody. Arkham. So where does that go? So now we've got two of these fellas that go on there and now uh, a new camp brick I'm so fed up with these bricks I've seen so many of them recently the little textured bricks that I had touched thousands of to make the new camp didn't expect to be touching them again this soon piece I need is not here. Oh, yes it is. It's supposed to be two, two one by twos. I thought it was one one by four. What a silly goose. And then we need one of these little jobbies on again. And then we're building a very complex pattern for this sign, which once it's done, as usual, I will show you what it looks like. But it is quite intricately patterned and fiddly. But I think it's going to look very cool when it's done. Um, oh God, what are we doing now? Okay. This is snazzy. Very, very snazzy. And that goes on there. And we've got this little intricate little Arkham Asylum entrance which goes there, which means we now have Arkham, which I guess is going to take a little bit more detailing yet, but looks very cool. And now we're on to bag 23. Love the sticker hack, never thought of doing it, we're definitely trying it on future videos. Yeah, I, I'd seen people suggest it, and ignored them because it seemed weird. But last night, everyone was trying to persuade me to try it. I tried it, and it genuinely is so much easier to place them where you want them. Still on the health kit? Yeah, absolutely. It's going well. I've now lost £40 since January. And still going strong. So yeah, going good. If you're going to Meadow Hall, maybe wait a bit until the Jessops reopens in hopefully May. I mean, we're not going to be going anytime soon. We've got um, we've got a London 
Lego shopping trip planned for this month. I think we mentioned it in the video yesterday. Um, but we've booked to we've booked a couple of nights in a hotel in London on Brick Lane because obviously you've got to stay on Brick Lane when you're going down there for a Lego trip. And there's currently the Lego art exhibition on in on there's a it's on Brick Lane where there's loads of Lego art. So we're gonna we've booked tickets to that. So we're gonna go we're gonna go and see art because we're fancy these days. We're going to an art exhibit. Um, so we'll vlog that. And then while we're down there, we're also going to go to all four of the London Lego stores and like them. The most interesting of which, of course, will be the Leicester Square one, because that's like a Lego museum. That's awesome. I've only ever been there once before, because it's always busy. You always have to queue to get into the Leicester Square one, no matter what time of day you go. Um, but there's the there's also the new one at Battersea Power Station. And also the um, the two Westfield ones. So we'll get all four of them done. Does my screen wobbling annoy me? Uh, no, because I don't notice it. I'm not normally wobbling the, the table. I'm only wobbling the table because I'm messing around with Lego. If I'm just sat here, normally the screens don't move. It is a very wobbly table in general because it's a sit-stand desk that I assembled myself. I don't assemble my own furniture these days because I'm not very good at it. But this was probably one of the last pieces of furniture I assembled myself. Probably also the most expensive piece of furniture I ever bought as well. It's a thousand pound desk. And it's one of the reasons why I no longer assemble any of my own furniture, it's ridiculous. I put together my thousand pound sit stand desk myself. Um, and then my 35 pound Ikea tables that I bought for the Lego City, I paid to have assembled for me. Because I made such a bad job of this. So I don't know how long this, I've had this desk a few years, it's not gonna last as long as it should have done, because it's assembled so badly. I am just bad at DIY. But yeah, normally it doesn't wobble. But it's the reason I've had to mount the cameras to the wall rather than have them to the desk. So my FM camera is mounted to that wall. The camera you're on now, there's a shower curtain going into the window bay that I've then got a bracket on to hold the camera on. So it's being, you're basically on a curtain rail or a shower curtain rail or whatever you want to call it. A tension pole. Because I couldn't stand it on the desk. Because I'm incompetent. Do you have, do I have them on a boom? I move back to the stands. Um, what, the monitors? Yeah, they're on a thing. Yeah, so I can move them around. I like it because it means I can have these drawers underneath them. So it gives me more desk space. I mean, it's a massive desk as it is, but I like a lot of desk space. Can fit more mugs on it that way. What's my biggest DIY disaster? I mean, every piece of DIY I've ever done has been a disaster. There's not any that particularly stick out because they've all been so bad. I am just not a DIY guy. At all. And I finally fully admitted that to myself and don't even try anymore. I figured I spent 20 years trying. I moved out of home when I was 18. I've been trying to build my own furniture for more than 20 years. If I was ever going to get good at it, it would have happened by now. So I've just given up. And from now on, I pay people to do it. Because then it gets done right. And the shelves that I've got on the wall in the Lego City room are great. And I, could, I just could never do anything like that. I can't imagine me trying to put up shelves. I'd just break the house. Building the police prison island while watching. Awesome. There's lots of pictures on this bit. And we flip that over and we've got some of these little jobbies to go on the side here. Lovely little jobbies.
Oh, we're still rolled over this side. And then we're just framing this one out again, I think. Because this is one of the edge pieces. We did a lot of this when we were doing the edge on the other side. And then this, I think, goes in at the bottom here. Like that. And that is now the right height. So that will build out wider and then probably go to about there and then we'll clip them together at the end. So we are getting we're getting there. We need to put some more of the framing on though. So we need that and that. And then this goes where? This goes here. What? Sometimes this is so confusing because there's so much going on. And it sometimes takes a minute to work out where the new pieces are in the diagram. It's a good thing Lego instruction books are as good as they are. They were not this good when I was a kid. Not even close. There is no way I could have done a Lego set like this as a kid because the instructions would have just been a nightmare for it. Have you, are you thinking about getting any retro discontinued sets to build on the channel? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we've already done it with the, um, I mean, not necessarily retro, but discontinued. The new camp was a retired set and we've already built that. Um, I'm certainly going to be looking to get some of the older modulars. Um, so yeah, definitely. Um, not loads immediately because we are we're pretty much set for a little while now with the sets that we have but long term for sure right so that and then that we're at another one of those tricky sections where there's a lot of steps all together and I'm going to miss something out almost certainly because there's about five pieces to add in each step. Slow it down for me, Lego. I can't keep up. Especially when I can't find the piece that I need. Where is it? There it is. So that bit goes there. Was that everything for that section? I think it might have been. How many bags does this have? It has 44. And this is like 23, I think. So we are, yeah, there's a long way to go. I mean, looking at looking at it, we've done about half of it. That's about half of it, and this is a third of the other half. Work that fraction out, kids. But from a bag perspective, we are barely halfway through. So I think I might have been a bit ambitious saying I wanted to get this set finished this week. There will be a stream tomorrow, but it will be a later start because we're doing the podcast first. So I probably won't be streaming till 8 o'clock tomorrow. And then Thursday I'm doing a football manager stream because Topher should be settled into his new house by then. Completely unpacked, I'm sure. He'll have been there a day. He's got to be completely unpacked inside a day, surely. Um, so I'll be able to do a football manager stream because he'll be back able to edit. So, And then I'm in London. So if it doesn't get done tomorrow night, it will move over into next week. It's not the end of the world if it does. I don't want to, I never want to get to the point where I'm rushing a set and then not enjoying it. I don't want it to, although the channel and the content obviously is my job or part of my job. I don't want to get to the point where I'm resenting doing the Lego because I feel like I've got to get it done by a certain deadline. I don't want it to be, become that worky because if it starts to feel like that, it will stop being fun and I'll stop wanting to do it and then and then it all becomes harder. So we'll get as far as we can get by bedtime tomorrow. And if we have to do one more stream on this set next week before we start Dungeons and Dragons, then so be it. I can live with that. All right, so we've done three of those and then we have to do one with a different pattern on as well. The real question is, can I play FM in the new setup? What, the Lego room upstairs? No. This room will still be for Football Manager. 
upstairs is for Lego. So this is this week will be the last streams of Lego in here, but the football manager stuff will continue in this room. So I've basically I'm doubling my rooms. We've got we have a four bed house. We previously had three of them we used as bedrooms, and then I had an office. But now the kids are gone. They've been gone for a while, but we finally got around to sorting it. Um, Anna's got a Lego room, and I've got an office and a Lego room. And it's awesome. What else is awesome is what we've just done there. We've got those little windows that each have a little sticker with somebody behind them. So this is Arkham Asylum. So they're the prisoners in Arkham Asylum, which is great. Very cool. Do they count as prisoners in Arkham Asylum? The patients, the inmates? What's the what's the correct terminology for a comic book villain in a uh, in a high security hospital? What's my favourite theme? Probably Marvel. Marvel or modulars. But this uh, this new Batman. Uh, animated series thing has got off to an incredible start so ask me again when a few more of these sets have come out and who knows because this has been so much fun to build and I'm barely barely halfway right what are we doing now we are applying bricks I can apply bricks so that one goes there where else are we applying bricks? Hmm? Do we need two of those? I feel like I'm missing bits, as in missing steps, not missing Lego pieces. So I need to just get them all out and make sure that I am doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So that, they go there, and then that. Oh, yeah, okay. I see where we're going. That, that. That. We're just building in this little area at the bottom here because it's going to come out. If you see on the other half, the bottom part comes out further. It's like five or six bricks deep so that it can stand up like that because you don't have to hang it on the wall. You have the option of hanging it on the wall or standing it on a table. One day you'll end up having to convert your bedroom into a lager room and have to sleep in a tent in the garden. Oh, that would be cool. I wouldn't mind that. I mean, I've already said to Anna, if the, ch if the channel gets big enough that we... Uh, that we seriously run out of space and need to expand for the sake of the channel, we'll just get some office space at that point. I've wanted office space for years. I think if we eventually got to that point and finally got some office space to run the company out of and produce all the content from, at that point we probably move to a much smaller house for ourselves. Because we don't need all this space to live in. I need to talk to my accountant and work out the tax implications of the fact that now three of our four bedrooms are for business. I don't even know. But yeah, we, uh, I wouldn't be at all against living somewhere smaller. What the hell do we do here? Do, is that supposed to clip in or is that going to be clipped in by something else in a minute? I don't see how that clips in there. I think this is something else clever is about to happen. So I'm just going to rest that in for now and wait for the clever thing to happen, which I imagine is coming. What we've got, boys and girls, we've got this, which it's telling me is supposed to go in there, but I don't think there's any way that that actually clicks in. So it's just kind of resting there. But we've had stuff like this before, that then we've had something really clever come in and just lock it in place. So I think I'm just going to leave it resting there and assume it doesn't clip in. I don't think it does. Oh no, it does! It does clip in! I was just putting it in wrong. Okay, ignore me. Perseverance. Good job, we continue to fiddle. Went to the Lego store in Brum today. The wall had been ransacked using an excuse to go to London. Yeah, they did say yesterday when I was in there that they didn't get as many sets in as they were hoping for. So I was I was pretty glad to be there uh, as early as we were. I mean, we were, you saw in the video we were literally queuing up outside, but I'm glad we were because 
it's certainly, I think, taken them a little bit by surprise, how popular these sets have been, which seems mad. I mean, it's you're talking about selling Batman and Dungeons and & Dragons to nerds. I don't know how you can be surprised that, oh, the nerds did want the Batman and the Dungeons and the Dragons and the Dungeons and Dragons stuff. Who'd have thought? It's like nerd catnip, those two IPs. So it should have been fairly obvious that they were going to sell. But I guess this is why I'm not Captain Lego. And I don't get to make the decisions until I take over the Lego company at some point, which is bound to happen, I'm sure. I'll end up running Lego. Seems like the logical next step. Mine's Ninjago, and if you can find them or you're willing to spend like £200, I'd recommend Ninjago City Markets and City Gardens. Yeah, I've looked at both of them. They both look very cool. They do look very cool. They're a long way down the list, because there's so many sets that we want. But they are sets that we have looked at, definitely. Right, hold on, we're putting these down here. So some kind of shenanigans is going on on this side. Because we're putting all of our... Uh, all of our snot bricks down the side here. We've got a little double, double layer of them. So something's going on the side. I can't tell what it is from here. But there's definitely some kind of shenanigans about to happen down there. Oh no, it's not that. We're just putting a little bit of black framing on that's double width. Here's me thinking something exciting was going to happen and literally the most boring outcome ever is what we actually get. Brilliant. It's like my comment section reviewing today's YouTube video. <laughs> oh, now I'm making myself cry. Don't say things like that, Kev. All right. Oh, that's reminded, that's reminded me I need to face the comment section again after the stream. I might just go to bed and look at it in the morning. No good can come of going back into that comment section tonight, I don't think. Goodness me. What are some of the sets on our list? Um, I mean, mainly the, the retired modulars. I want to get as many of them as I can, and I know some of them are crazy expensive. I would say my number one set... My number ones, there's probably two that I'm actively looking for at the moment, are the modular police station that only recently retired, that I haven't been able to find for a reasonable price. And I really like the look of the downtown diner, so I want that as well. But ideally, loads of the, um, I would just like loads of the modulars. I love the modulars. I think they're great. That's why I've done a city. Disaster because the modulars are so cool. So, yeah, modular, modular, modular. Please and thank you, universe, if you're paying attention. Um, all right, pop that. Does that pop on there? That does pop on there. How big are we planning on the Lego City being? I mean, have you, if, you've, if you've seen the video, then to fill that space that we've got, that's the only space that we've got. So, yeah, that big. Um, if we get to the point where that is completely filled and we literally can't cram anything else into that room, then at that point, we have a look to see how big the channel is and we decide if we can justify some out-of-the-home space, which I would love to be able to do at some point. I mean, it seems mad to be talking about it when the channel is less than a month old. But, you know, you've got to have dreams and ambitions for these things, haven't you? I would love to be, in two or three years' time, talking to you from our office slash studio space off-site, where the whole company is based and all of the content is produced from, and we have a massive Lego city there. That would be amazing. So, that's the long-term goal. Do I have any plans for a build cam? There will be stuff like that, yeah. Um, I need to get some smaller trousers first. Because having lost £40 this year, my trousers don't stay up. As you've seen every time I've had to bend under the table. So if I did any kind of build cam at the moment, it would just be me 
getting my bum out all the time. So I need to get some trousers that fit or a proper belt. <laughs> and then I can uh, then I can do something like that. But yeah, definitely. Oh, there's a little rubber duck. <laughs> I love him. He's a little rubber duck. He's my he's my new friend. Meant to be flying tomorrow, but have a cold. I hope it won't make it worse. Flying with a cold is not fun. Are you going anywhere fun though? Because that that can make the cold go away if you're going somewhere fun. There have been many times over the years where I felt really rough just before flying somewhere. But just the act of going to a place I was really looking forward to going has miraculously allowed me to recover. Um, what? So that goes there. And then that. Yeah, that goes there. That locks that in. Okay. Um, or just get your butt out all the time. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I can't have my bum out all the time because uh, I don't think YouTube like that. They're fussy about that kind of thing. You're off to Poland. Excellent. Never been to Poland. Right. One of these little wang janglers. Go in there, you swine. Technic pins are a proper pain in the trousers. Goodness me. And this is coming from the guy with a GCSE in Lego Technic. <laughs> there we go. Do I recommend somewhere to get the retired sets from? Uh, no, because I haven't really done it yet. I mean, I'm looking on like eBay and places like that. I don't know if that's the recommended place to find such a thing. But that's certainly where I've been looking. Uh, Bricklink as well, I guess, would be the other obvious one to look at. But Bricklink just seems really expensive for everything. Oh, that's supposed to go underneath, actually. So, I guess eBay is going to be a little bit hit and miss. But also keep an eye on Amazon as well. I got the bookshop, which is retired. I got that on Amazon for roughly original retail price. It was like 205 I think. Which I realised there would have been sales towards the end of its life before it retired. So it was probably available for a lot cheaper than that a year ago. But for me, who really wanted that set, to be able to pick it up for pretty close to what it would have been at launch was pretty cool. Uh, what have I done wrong here? There you go, that way up. I have no idea what we're making here. Got like a little barrel with a light bulb in it. No idea what's going on. But it's gonna, I know it's going to be another one of those that it'll just suddenly all make sense. And you'll hear me make giddy noises again. I do like a giddy noise. Any idea why ads change in frequency later in the streams? Happened yesterday too, from one every hour to every half hour and every five minutes. I have absolutely no idea. It shouldn't be doing that. Um, no idea. As far as I'm aware, it's supposed to be a set frequency throughout the stream. I'm not actually sure what that set frequency is. But yeah, no idea at all why that is happening. Um, I will have a fiddle around. I mean, I'm very new to YouTube streaming in general. I'll have a little nose around on the, uh, on the dashboard and see if I can figure something out. Oh, this is Ace Chemicals. That's what we're doing here. Because that's the, the guy who we didn't know who it was before is the Joker, because that is the vat of goo at Ace Chemicals that the Joker falls into. See, I told you we'd just, it would become clear. It's so cool. Oh, what a set. What a set this is. The range stock, a minifig display case with LEDs, which hangs on the wall, which well, that does sound cool. I got a 980 piece set 
that's four years old off eBay for like £65. Nice. I think the problem with eBay, just like with anything, I mean, as, as a just a collector in general, I'm always a little wary of eBay just because it's eBay, isn't it? And there's always the possibility that stuff is not as it seems. So I'm just naturally a bit wary of eBay. But the vast majority of the time, eBay is great. It's just sometimes you run up against the uh, the bad apple, the bad egg. And it's just the risk you take on eBay. Um, right, that goes in there. Okay, that makes sense. Out of the hand models like the Infinity Gauntlet and Wolverine hand, for example, which one? Do I recommend? I haven't got the Wolverine one yet. It's on my wish list. Um, so I really want the Wolverine one. Um, I, Me and Anna got the the two gauntlets. I've got Thanos's one and Anna has got the Iron Man one. I think the Thanos one is cooler, but she chose the Iron Man one. So I guess it depends on uh, on your preferences. Go with what your favourite characters are. I really want the Wolverine one because I love the X-Men. But like I say, don't have it yet, so I can't actually recommend it because I've not built it. I just finished building the Ferrari 812. Com but I don't know anything about cars. While watching this Lego building, while watching Lego building. Nice. That's good. Right in the, the Lego matrix. It's good. It's where you want to be. Legoing yourself up. Legoing yourself silly. What a way to live. Uh, right, that goes on there. And then we get another one of those. And that's we're building another little platform here, which is going to go down in the basement of Arkham, I think, is what we're doing here. Bane is down there. I can see Bane. Bane's hanging out in the basement. Have we hit 5,000 subscribers on the channel yet, boys and girls? I haven't seen since we started. I am seeing the subscriber notification come in a lot. And I know we weren't that far away when we started. So it would be very cool if we have. If we haven't and you're watching on TikTok, make sure you come and subscribe on YouTube. And likewise, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you go and follow on TikTok because both of them were really, really close to 5,000 before we started and I would like them both to get there because I like to achieve things and that would be a nice thing to achieve so early on in the two channels certainly on TikTok because TikTok is a platform I have much less experience with than YouTube um, I'd like to think after all these years I know what to do on YouTube but TikTok <clears throat> TikTok I'm still very new at and still figuring it out I'm doing all right with my figuring. Um, that goes that way. Oh, we've got to turn it the same way around as the diagram for a minute. It's wrecking my brain. Where does this piece go? Ah, uh, oh, there. Okay. So we're definitely building the underneath bit of Arkham at the moment. Why am I not on Twitch tonight? Because I'm not doing Lego on Twitch anymore. That was just for the football set. Just to let the Twitch followers know that I'm starting to do Lego. But going forward, we're not going to be doing Lego on Twitch. Lego is going to be on the Block Party channels. And Twitch is going to stay being Football Manager. So, yeah. The, um, the Twitch stream will be back on Thursday. Topher's moving house at the moment. So we can't do Football Manager currently because we've got no one to edit it. So it does give me an excuse to spend a few nights doing Lego, which I'm not going to complain about. Um, but we'll be back on Twitch on Thursday with a Football Manager stream. And then, like I say, going forward, there'll be two or three Football Manager streams a week on Twitch. And then two or three Lego streams a week that will be here on the Block Party channels on YouTube and TikTok. I think that's a nice little mix for this time of year. I don't know the set number, but I highly recommend the Lego 
Icon's Kingfisher bird. Anna has that one. Anna, that was one of the early sets that Anna built, and it is awesome. It is so cool. I really like that set. Um, Dave is a nightmare and knocks it over regularly because it's in our living room still because it that set predates the Lego rooms. But yeah, it's a great set. Um, hang on. Hang on. So that... That goes there, and then that goes there. So we're kind of building Ace Chemicals and Arkham Asylum at the same time, which I'm trying to not get confused with because we keep swapping back and forth between the two. But they are both happening currently. So we've got Arkham here. So that's Arkham Asylum, and then that's Ace Chemicals next to it, and we just keep adding loads. Of, look how deep it's getting there. We're, that's what allows the set to stand up on its own, which is splendid. All right, hold on. Spin you back round. So that goes there, and that goes there, and that. Oh, hold on. We haven't put our rubber duck in. We need to get the rubber duck in. I don't know at what stage I was supposed to put him in, but he's supposed to be under here. So the rubber duck is kind of hidden. And lives down here. And I've got to figure out how to get him in with my gigantic hands. Come on, my little rubber duck friend. So you can see he's just hidden in the bottom of Arkham. Which is splendid. Right, bag 25. Here we go. Bag 25. We are flying. The bits that ain't on now just go back in the bags. Yeah. Is it worth the price? What, this set? I think it is. I'm having loads of fun. I think this is a great set. Like with any Lego set, it depends how much you, you would enjoy it. So how into Batman are you? How into the Batman animated series are you? How much do you enjoy art sets? Different different Lego sets are worth different things to different people. Like, there's so many people out there who've got loads of Star Wars sets. I wouldn't have any interest in them. So I don't think they're worth it. But I love this because I loved this show. This is my Batman. The Batman animated series was my favorite show. So I love this set. So it's definitely worth it for me. Ah. When's the next Lego City vid coming out? Uh, tomorrow. Yeah, it's already made. There's not any kind of schedule for it. It'll just be when there's stuff to show you. Um, I'll show you it. I, I recorded the one that's coming out tomorrow on Saturday. Um, but was going to release it today. But then the video we released yesterday did really well. So I just wanted to give that one a little bit of space to breathe in the algorithm. So the Lego City one will be out tomorrow. And then it might be a week before the next one because I'm away a lot. Um, but yeah, there's no kind of schedule for it. There's not really any kind of schedule at all for this channel. It'll be certainly in the early days while we're figuring things out. It will very much be a case of when there's a video ready, we'll release it. Which means sometimes there'll be several videos in a week. Sometimes there might even be videos on consecutive days and sometimes there'll be a week where there's no videos. Um, what we're trying to do as like a rough rule of thumb at the moment is trying to have at least one piece of content of some kind out every day. So whether that's a stream or a video or a short and times like this week where it's particularly busy because it's new sets are out, we've got loads of content so because we've done a video yesterday and a stream yesterday and then we've got another stream today and tomorrow there'll be a video and a stream there might be two or three days where there's nothing at all and it'll average out to one piece of content a day but that's what we're aiming for an average of one piece of content a day and it will roughly be equally split again is the plan it won't necessarily always work out like this but the plan is over the course of any month for there to be about 10 videos, about 10 shorts, and about 10 streams. That's the rough plan for the channel. If it ends up ever looking anything like that, we'll see. But that's the intention at the start. And it will be 
it will vary from there as time goes on and we figure figure out what works and what doesn't but that's what we're aiming for currently uh, by the way in case you're wondering the ninjago city gardens has 26 bags of city markets while selling over roughly a thousand more pieces that's 51 bags I, I think i prefer more smaller bags like with this set because it's easier to just do a quick bag here and there which I like. I like having the option of just, right, I've got five minutes, I'll do a bag. Rather than having to set aside an hour because it's an, each bag is an enormous job. What do I think of the F1 sets? I mean, I'm not an F1 fan, so they're not for me. I have no interest in F1, so I've not really looked at them, but I imagine if you're into F1, they're great. But yeah, they're not for me. Uh, that being said, I do keep threatening to get into F1 because it would be really handy from a, a main channel perspective to be able to do F1 manager at this time of year. As football manager slows down, so maybe... Maybe one year I'll get into F1. We used to watch it all the time when I was a kid. It would always be on. It's one of the reasons why I don't like it as an adult. Because my dad was into it. And it would be on every weekend. Like every Sunday for half the year the F1 would be on. And I just didn't want to watch it. I just found it really boring. So uh, yeah, that kind of turned me off of motorsport in general. The fact that it was always on. Which is weird because the other thing that was always on was football. And I did get into that. So... I guess it's just luck of the draw. Which which bit you get into and which bit you're like, oh, I just don't like this. And I guess it's for the best that it worked out the way that it did. Because I doubt I'd be a full-time F1 manager YouTuber at this point. If I'd never got into, uh, if I'd never got into football. Um, there's lots of plants appearing on this bit. There's a very planty section. Ah! Which I'm not sure where this bit even goes. TikTok, more zoomed in than YouTube. I can see what you're doing now. Um, I don't think it's that it's more zoomed in. I mean, it's the same camera angle. It's just that it's cropped in, I guess. So, because it's cropped in, I guess it makes it appear more zoomed, maybe? But yeah, it shouldn't be any more zoomed because it's literally just a cropped version of the same camera. But if you can see better, that's good. Because I want you to see what I'm doing. Um, there's a green one missing. I don't know that it really matters because we just need to cover this in flowers anyway, I think. So I'll just put an orange one on. In the book, it looks like they're supposed to be pink anyway. Maybe they're not even orange. Maybe my colour vision is failing me again. Yeah, we're putting little glass panels over the front of them anyway, so it really doesn't matter what colour they are underneath, I don't think. Because they've got these little transparent covers on. I'll show you this bit when it's done. Has Anna done the stitch set? Stitch set. Can't speak. Um, no, I don't think she has yet. I haven't seen it. She's currently working on the Snow White one. But yeah, it's on her to-do list. I feel like I've referenced to-do lists an awful lot on this stream. More than you would expect someone to mention to-do lists on a Lego stream. Um, uh, that goes there. Oh. This is a very intricate little flowery design that we're doing here. Um, well, that doesn't. See 
seem right. It's not right, that's why. We're supposed to pop another little layer of these on. So many of them. Jack can get me into F1 Manager. Um, I mean, can he? I'd be impressed if he could. It seems very unlikely at this point that I would get into that game. But who knows? Stranger things have happened, I guess. I just don't find it entertaining, like motorsport in general. I'm sure the game's lovely, if you're into that kind of thing. I have no idea. Ah, I have no idea what we're doing here. It's like a little flower set. Um, do I have plans to go to Leicester Square shop? Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. Um, we're going down to London to do all four London shops in one day for a video later this month. So we will be going to the Leicester Square shop as part of that. We've been before, or I've, I've been before. I'm not sure if Anna's been before, actually. I don't know if I was with her when I went. But I've been before, and it's awesome. But can't go too many times, can you? So, yeah, looking forward to that, definitely. Um, I don't know what this is. It's going to be another one of those uh, moments when I figure out what it is. I don't even know which way up it's supposed to be. No idea. And then we're just plonking it on over the top of Arkham. Okay. So it's just plants going over the top of Arkham. Fair enough, I suppose. Presumably something to do with poison ivy. As I need to go to the pick a brick and I want Leicester and some of the London stuff. Yeah, definitely planning on going at some point. Uh, has it gone like that? Yeah. I think, does it, is that supposed to have a gap? It doesn't fit like that, so it must be there. So that goes in. Have I put it the right way up? I have. There you go. It's in the bottom there. I, I'm still not entirely sure. It's covered up all of the cool Arkham stuff, which is weird. But I know a lot of it is supposed to be hidden anyway, as little Easter egg things. So I guess we're hiding Arkham. Fair enough. Um. that wrong. Okay, let's do it right. Mm -hmm. No, definitely done some, I've done everything wrong from the start on this step, because that was supposed to go like that. And then that goes there. No, that's wrong again. What am I doing? I've lost the ability to use my fingers. There we go. We got there in the end. My word, that was far more challenging than it needed to be. <laughs> um, right. Okay. And now we take one of those. Must be getting close to my bedtime because I think my brain's starting to shut down from too much Lego. It's not processing everything properly anymore. We'll see how I feel after this one. This might be the last bag. We might do one more. I do want to crack on as much as possible, but like I said before, I'm very wary. I don't want it to start to feel like a chore. And I'm still having fun at the moment, so while I'm still having fun, we're good. But if it starts to feel like a chore, we must not let that happen must maintain love of the content. That's what people are responding to, Kev. People are enjoying you, enjoying yourself. I'm just giving myself a pep talk now. 
Right, um, so that then gets that on there. Anna, by the way, has told me repeatedly not to leave her in her Lego room at night. Um, but the last two nights, she's just been in there till like 2am. And I went in there after my stream yesterday. And I was like, well, yesterday you stayed up until 2am and you told me not to leave you in here. I'm going to bed. Are you coming with me? And she was like, yeah, I'm just finishing this bag. This isn't you leaving me in here because I'm finishing the bag. So you're fine. You can go to bed. This isn't you leaving me in here because I'm leaving in a minute anyway. 1.30 in the morning, she eventually came to bed. She is... She has a problem. <laughs> She's full on addicted. Uh, ultimately, there's worse things she can get addicted to. Let's face it. But yeah, she's not kidding anybody. She is addicted. Um, what? Oh, we need a sticker. Sticker 59. All right, it's the Arkham sign, or another Arkham sign. A bendy one this time to go on a little bendy doohickey. This is a horrible angle to have to do a sticker at. There we go. I'm a genius, though. That was great work, Ken. Good work. No, not good work. Great work. That was great work. And then that goes there. Yeah. So we've got another little Arkham sign. Is that showing that? It's a bit dark over there. We've gone beyond the the length of the um, of the lights for you to be able to see over there. And I'll be in Lego rehab soon. Maybe. But then I'll get to build all her sets. So that'll be alright. I don't mind that. She'll come back and the, the castle will have been built. And then she'll be in Lego prison for murdering me. She might even go to real prison for that. I don't know the, I don't know the rules. If someone builds your Lego set and you then murderise them, which prison do you go to? I guess we'll never know. I hope we'll never know. This has got some this has got some depth to it, boys and girls. And then we put that on there. No. Again. Read the instructions, Kevin. So what? I don't even know. Okay. Oh, that slots in beautifully. That's clever. That's actually very clever, the way it's done that. You didn't see any of that because it was too little and fiddly. There was something very clever that just happened. you just got to trust me. Something clever just happened. Right, so this is now going in... Does it fit in there? Where does it fit in? That means I have put that one there in the wrong place. So this must have to be lower down. But then why doesn't it fit? Hmm. Curious. I've done something wrong. I need to go back to the weird snake thing. I think I've put something in the wrong place for that. When did I make the weird snake thing there? I have. I've done that bit wrong. That's why it never fitted right. That was supposed to be the other side. So now that goes perfectly there, which means this goes perfectly there. And everyone's happy again. It's all come together. There we go, look. We got there in the end, so we got the little snaky bit and then the Arkham bit on top of it. Is there any more for this step? That might be. I think we're going to call it a day there because I've just made two mistakes in a row and I don't want to start making loads of mistakes. So we've got that side just about done. We've made a solid start on this side. We've got mm. another 200 pages of manual to go. Um, I don't think it's unrealistic that we finish this tomorrow night. 
just a reminder, tomorrow night's stream will be a little bit later. We're recording the podcast at seven, so I won't be streaming till about eight, quarter past eight-ish. Um, so we might go a little bit later tomorrow as well. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed we can get it finished tomorrow night. Thank you again for the support this evening, hanging out with me all evening. It's a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying these Lego streams. Uh, thank you for watching along on TikTok. I can see people have given me roses and ducklings and various things that I don't really understand as a 40-year-old man, 41-year-old man throughout the stream. Thank you very much. Thank you for the incredible support as well on YouTube tonight, the massive super chats, the gifted channel memberships, the new channel members, all the subs, all the follows on TikTok. The support across both platforms tonight has been sensational. It is very much appreciated. You've certainly cheered me up on a day where I was a little bit grumpy coming in and that is no mean feat. So thank you very much for that. Um, there's a Lego City update coming out on YouTube at five o'clock tomorrow. So before the next stream and then like I say should be streaming again both on YouTube and TikTok from about 8.15 tomorrow. I would guess I won't schedule it because I won't know exactly when I'll go live. Um, in fact I might schedule it for like half eight but then probably go live before that. Um, just so you can be sure of when it's happening. But thank you for watching. I'm going to say bye-bye. Firstly, bye-bye to TikTok, because I think I said bye-bye to YouTube first yesterday. So bye-bye, TikTok. Thank you for watching. TikTok is gone, everybody. We can talk about them behind their back now. And bye-bye, YouTube, as well. Thank you very much for the support again. Toodle pip. Bye-bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that YouTube stuff.